be me, Tank Sergeant Yuri of the Van Halen 545th Armored. Feeling much better now since the incident on the desert planet. I guess a few weeks of warp transit to rest and relax was just what I needed. Anyway, we exited the warp with several other ships near a hive world. Apparently a shadow in the warp is getting closer to this system and the planetary governor has enough sway to requisition a few regiments to protect this world during the feast of the emperor's ascension. If he knows the nids are coming and has enough money to bring us all here. Why doesn't he just leave? Probably just doesn't want to leave behind all his stuff. He was nice enough to give me a new tank though, although the tank crew seemed rather confused when I kicked them all out and replaced them with my own men. Currently we are in a parade going down an upper mid-hive highway with the other regiments to ensure the citizens everything is fine. I'm too super for the shit alcoholic don't even think these people really know who we are or what we've done. At least we're getting back up from the local regiment. They all seem pretty weird, having this thing about exposing their foreheads, either covering it with bandanas or helmets. Many of them are also bald. I guess every regiment has their quirks. Who am I to judge? Either way after the parade this should be a nice and simple assignment. With few surprise, B same Arch Margos Explorator from the Jungle World thread. Exit warp playing children of the Omniscia. Never get sold. Arrive in some hive world system to refuel and press gang Skaterii and other workers for the Ark. Send down Skaterii Marshal Gamma Mu07 to begin recruiting and acquiring resources for our never ending quest for knowledge. Check sensors and see a hive fleet is approaching. Decide to tell him to make extra careful to check for Jenna Steelers. We don't want another Morid incident do we? Still be Sergeant Yuri. Still be in a parade with several other regiments from across the galaxy. Still be agonizingly sober. The one advantage of this assignment is I get to see the different tanks from across the galaxy. Never seen a Rogel Dawn tank before now. But they defiantly look interesting to command. Also what tank commander doesn't love getting to see Bannerblade in person. Anyway, after hours of navigating the freeways in a parade the population doesn't seem all that interested in, we arrive at the planetary governor's palace and he starts giving a speech to us and the citizens of his planet. The governor is so fat he needs a anti-grav belt just to be able to move around. Governor gives a speech, talking about how we're all fools and he brought us all here so his gods could feast blah 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 I'm a big fat fracking heretic. Someone please shoot me blah blah blah. Naturally not the smartest thing to say these things in front of a loyal son of the emperor bored out of his mind sitting in a lemon rice. Line up a shot and fire. It misses but he goes back into his palace. Briefly thankful he at least shut up only for him to continue his monologue over every speaker in the hive. Emperor damn it, this fat bastard likes to hear himself talk. Call in his cords to see if I can get artillery or a orbital strike or something on his house. The local PDF with the headband start to turn on us as well. Have no clue why they're siding with a fat slob heretic with a vor fetish over their fellow guardsmen but to each their own. Besides at least mowing down heretics in the name of the throne will distract me from the fact it's the feast of the emperor's ascension. I still haven't gotten any emperor damned alcohol. Be me. Rizza patting plasma gun. Designation hot dog. It's been some time since our last saw action. Ever since my last assignment with master on that desert world. I had been taken under the care of the nice ingots here, Zeta 23. Instead of being reassigned to a new master like previous times, he said I was some sort of relic, and wanted to make sure I was put in the right hands. I'm only a few millennia. Artifact. Anyway, we made a few friends on that mission, and we're supposed to be part of some parade. Hopefully they let me fire at some practice targets or even traitors to show off to the crowd thing is, I need someone to wield me, and I'm not particularly fond of any of the Skaterii the Engenseer wants to pair me with. They just don't know how to treat a plasma gun like a Van Halen does. At the same time, 
the Engenseer wants to make sure my next master can survive a last gunshot and reports to him. Am past tech. In the meantime, he's keeping me with him until he can find someone we both deem worthy. Fast forward a bit. And we're at the parade. The Engenseer is sticking by Sergeant Yuri and his new tank. Start lighting up a bit, hoping I might get to fire some shots to impress the crowd. Here a bit of commotion starts up, and next thing I know, the Engenseer is ducking in cover, readying me to fire. Apparently, some of the new recruits we were supposed to be getting from here are trying to kill us. This is why I'm picky with unfamiliar wielders. Engenseer, be me, Skateri I Marshal Gamma Mu 07. Now fully repaired from that incident on the Necrant Moon, my Arch Margos Explorator sent me and a few squads down to the planets to get some fuel and look for volunteers to join the Skateri Iron Ship crew. On the way down through the Midhive we pass a parade of various SIG regiments. Briefly think I spot Zeta 23 but figure that would be impossible. Reach Underhive. She wants us to be extra careful to scan for Jenna Steeler corruption since the Nids are approaching this world. This turns out to be the right call as the Medi Skull reports positive for Xeno DNA in several citizens. Since we don't want a repeat of the whole Forge World Morad incident, instead of shooting them outright in front of all their siblings we instead mark them and place them in a separate cart to be incinerated once we return to the Ark Mechanicus. Suddenly out of nowhere, all the speakers in the hive turn on broadcasting some speech. It seems the governor has officially declared himself a heretic now. So we don't need to pay for our fuel or slaves anymore. Downside is we are in the middle of an underhive slum surrounded by brood brothers. Luckily we can get into combat positions at a moment's notice. Bring it on bug fuckers. I shout. Still be Marshal Gamma Mu 07. Situation is fuba. Cult is coming from every corner. Order a tactical withdrawal and hop on the carriage holding the good Skateri I candidate. Flick the reins and the Cerberi Sulfur Hounds take off. Burning a hole through the cultists. Get a Vox message of the heretic governor's mansion. Patch it up to my Margos. Maybe she can do an orbital strike. Be me, Sergeant Yuri. As usual in these situations I assume command though sheer virtue of no one claiming it first. Pinned down around the governor's mansion. Completely surrounded by the PDF with the headbands. They keep coming in waves like the orcs. Still have no idea why they're defending this guy. Me and my fellow regiments are holding the line though. Weedy standing stern high fleet isn't even here and already we're fighting a war of attrition. Hear the sound of metal hoof steps. Watch as a carriage pulled by two sulfur hounds blitzkriegs past an alleyway with a scuteri I marshal steering. They don't stop to help us. Suddenly hear a rumbling. A pickup truck with a giant grinder on the front plows through a building barreling towards us. Decide that's as good a target as any and order my driver to charge through the enemy lines towards the truck. Where's the bloody artillery dot guard be me? The Linead Mer Captain Scarlet. Currently in between contracts at the moment. Me and my fellow mercs are in a bar celebrating the Emperor's ascension by blowing our contract money on booze and dances. Bouncer at the door had said they didn't have humans when we arrived. One dislocated shoulder later we were downing drinks and watching the parade on vid screen. Suddenly the governor's face interrupts the parade, earning much a thrown glass at the screen. Can't really make out what he says but it ends with him showing a bunch of Jenna Steel cultists attacking the parade full of guardsmen. Things seem kinda bad for them. MFW I wonder if someone will pay us to assassinate the governor. Be plasma gun. Firing at apparent traitors. But only sparsely. The Engenseer seems to be trying to conceal his presence for whatever reason. Only firing me when one of the larger, louder ones come into battle. These aberrants as the Engenseer calls them, are no Ogrim, and he also said something about these traitors being tainted by Xenos. I beat the Elder did this dot machine spirit. Don't know what the Engenseer is up to, but I want to kill traitors. Especially if they're tainted by Xenos. We keep moving within the Valhallen line that has formed, periodically blasting at light vehicles and heavier traitors that could have potentially caused a break in the line still not enough firing. Maybe we'll run into a Valhallen who gets can wield me properly at some point getting hot with impatience. 
refusing to vent until we kill more traitors, unless I really need to. I hope Zeta23 and some of the other characters find this thread. I also look forward to new additions to this adventure. B for Linid Mercenary 9MC Fluffy. Currently pissing away bonus pay at strip club on booze. Whores. Man whores. And drugs governor comes up on vid screen and starts rambling about stuff. Everyone starts booing and throwing drinks at the vid screen. Don't really care about politics though. Decide to go to sleep under the table. Someone wake me up when we are fighting drukhari hookers or TAU cheerleaders or something. Lazy cat or PNG. Be me. Sister Palatine Vishaluna. Probable sicker, which is a headache in and of itself. Potential living saint. Definitely not drunk enough for this shit. Made the mistake of walking into a Necron tomb structure too readily and fell through a spontaneous hole in the floor. Now I'm not only somewhere very different, but the voices of my sisters are very far away, and shit's going off everywhere. Some Muppets on the Vox, shouting blasphemies against the Emperor. Like he's something original. There are mutants and half Xenos fighting Icemen and other mutants. There's a couple of the red cult of piston fuckers strutting around like they're hot stuff for being autistic surgery addicts. Fuck it. I'm way not drunk enough for this shit. Mutants and heretic nobles can wait. I'm finding a bar. A stiff drink. I'd hope for something to eat. Bit between mutants. To staffickers and guardsmen. I'm not getting my hopes up. Be me. Ace lightning pilot tiff. Be enjoying my sure leave at a bar. Suddenly a bunch of tan skinned female felinids in leotards and green capes break the bouncer's arm and come in tearing up the place. They start rubbing against each other and me. Try to ignore them but one sits next to me and starts purring rubbing against me. Before I can say anything a second one grabs my left arm. The one on my right, not wanting to be outdone, puts my right arm between her breasts. Then a third one falls asleep on my lap. MFW I think I might have just realized I'm B. Be me. Inquisitorial agent Leon-esque. Boss owes a favor to neighboring world's governor. His daughter went missing while visiting this shithole as some show of diplomacy. Word of the bugs hitting planetfall soon can't just be a coincidence. Sure enough. The capital hive world is a Jenna Steeler cult's paradise. Just my luck. Got here a month ago, tracking her down to the fat fuck of a governor's palace. Safe bet he's involved with the cults. Been working on a plan to get into the palace for a month now. Today was the day. Killed a dozen of the local muscle getting to this vantage point. Have a rifle aimed right where he's gonna make his speech. Take a little off his top. Blow some explosives I have planted underneath the parade's main street. Sneak in during the chaos. Grab the girl and go. Seconds from killing this bastard was that a LAS shot. Fat fuck ducks into his palace. No 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 no. Maybe I can make this work. Go to my detonator. See loyal guardsmen fighting the cultist forces. Remember when I was boots on the ground. Fidget a bit on the detonator's trigger. Fuck. Grab an autogun from one of the Xenos curs I killed on the way up here and start making my way down to the streets to support and get those men somewhere not in the middle of a crossfire. Be me. Tank Sergeant Yuri of the Valhallen 545th. Lemon Russ barrels towards truck and manages to flip it over, crushing several heretics in the process. Decide that's probably as good an opening as we're going to get and order everyone in Vox range to advance through the hole and away from the governor's mansion. Lemon Russes form the tip of a wedge clearing the way for the larger Rogaldorns and banner blades at the back with the nice squishy infantry in the middle surrounded by a nice shell of armor. Tanks focus on clearing a path and defending the infantry, while the infantry fire up into the windows of the spires. We cut through the traitors like a snowplow. One of the downsides to this strategy though, is the bodies have started to pile up in front of our formation. Beginning to wish my tank had one of those dozer blades. See someone cutting through traitors like an absolute pro. Must be some kind of assassin or something. Turn the formation in his direction. By this point the bodies in front of us have reached up to the turret. Offer him a ride on my tank so he doesn't need to walk while he kills traitors. Be me. Inquisitorial agent Leon-esque. Maybe the guard didn't need help after all. 
See the Van Halen that's been shouting plowing through old bread scum like he was back home in the blizzard drifts. Leave the alley that led up to my perch by barreling out away from some straggler cultists who were coming to join the fray. Empty my magazine down the alley into the moor. One of them was only winged, is reaching for a sidearm. Toss the autogun at him and then kick him square in the face, his head bouncing off the recruit ab wall behind him. Reach for another discarded autogun. Check ammo. This'll do for now. Look around to assess the situation and see if I'll have him wave me up onto his tank. Look to the palace and see it swarming with emperor knows what at this point. Regroup for now. Mission will come soon enough. Scramble up onto the tank. Thanks for the assist. Name's Leon. Drinks are on me if we make it through this. I know a good bar not far from here. Be me. Skateri I Marshall Gamma Mu 07. Still riding on the carriage pulled by two Cerberus sulfur hounds burning our way through the cultists with my squad trailing behind. May or may not have set a few buildings on fire along the way. Trying to get out of here. But hive streets make no sense and GPS doesn't do well with 3D. Or account for cultists blocking the road. Think we pass the guardsman parade like three times. Frankly the amount of Jenna Steeler cultists here is just ridiculous. There must be at least 10 cultists for every one non-infected. Why the Inquisition hasn't just exterminate use this excrement hole is a mystery. No way they could have missed a cult this size for so long. Maybe it's part of some grander plan to lure the high fleet here and kill it. Or maybe those meat bags really are just incompetent. Oops Newsphere quickly delete that thought before anyone notices. Coming up on what I'm sure is the same alleyway we've passed though 5 times. We need directions. Help Arch Margos. Be Arch Margos Explorator. Watch the Marshal blaze around on the chariot. He's literally just running loops around the same hab blocks. MFW these are the kind of skaterii the Omnishia provided me. See that the situation is going fuba. Cultists everywhere. Total uprising. Inquisitorial Iden codes show up in the noosphere. Did the Inquisition really let it get this bad? It's Forge World more of again. Omnishia bless this lowly servant. Binary. Decide to ferry down support troops and automata to clear a field. Not the good ones. We don't want to waste those. New spheric connection to the planet's surface is suddenly lost. Xeno sabotage. Rage. How do I even contact my Skaterii? Idea.stc. Launch a dozen phosphor missiles into the lower atmosphere. They detonate in clouds of smoke and fire. Conveniently shaped into an arrow pointing at the newly secured forward base motive force. Chant. Be real Arch Margos Explorator from the Jungle World thread. Receive message from my marshal and some unique variant of low gothic about destroying the governor's mansion. I'm busy lining up the shot when my sensors detect another Arc Mechanicus in the system. Who's ever in command seems to think my Skateri are theirs. Cancel firing solution and get ready to engage them and void combat. There can only be one dot Highlander. Stop when I realize they are actually helping out my troops. Sending down reinforcements and providing directions to a safe location. Confuse dot data packet. Decide for now to leave them alone and get back to destroying the governor's mansion. Trying to decide if they are an imposter. Or me from another timeline or the future or something. Decide to go by Margo's Explorator Prime from now on to avoid confusion. Be me. Rizza Patting Plasma Gun. Designation Hot Dog. Currently being wielded by the Engen Seer Zeta 23. During the Engen Seer's movement to who knows where, we found ourselves getting to upper levels of the hive. At least in relation to the parade. Apparently. There's supposed to be some Skaterii forces here the Engen Seer wanted to link up with. Unfortunately, due to our detour, we haven't encountered many traitors to dispatch hot furry build up. Plasma. I need to kill traitors, Xenos, and anything that is bad. And I need to do it badly. I need a master to point me at them. Not an Engen Seer with other things to do. The Engen Seer seems to understand my predicament, attempting to soothe me with some hymns. Promising that we will find a master for me soon. We're almost at our objective. Finding ourselves traversing some precarious catwalks above hub in the ventilation system. Smells like an ambush dot experience. Midway through, 
Some more Togan fire opens up on us. Looks like the traitors left a group to patrol this area. Fortunately, the unorganized catwalks and makeshift repairs provided some cover for the Engin Seer. Feel more than my trigger being depressed. As I start welling up with delightful and unusually high amounts of energy. What are you doing Steptech bro? Feel a massive amount of heat releasing from me, undoubtedly in the direction of those foul traitors. As I relish their screams of agony, I hear one of them swear at us, followed by the sound of a snub revolver. The round hits not me, but the mechanical hand of the Engenseer which was holding me feel myself begin to fall. As I hear a single less pistol shot in the Engenseer scrambling to grab me, I don't feel his grip. I feel myself continue accelerating downward. Memories of my previous masters flash before me as I realize that I may be lost forever somewhere in these endless shafts. Fear dot spirit. Feel strikes against my frame as I tumble down the shafts, hitting the catwalks and then the sides and curves of the downward shafts. Wonder if I should be thankful that my reinforced frame protected me from anything bad, or despair that I'll spend the rest of eternity lying somewhere in the shaft when it flattens out eventually find myself hitting a flat surface, but instead of stopping there, I smashed right through, due to my momentum, based on the feel of it, it must have been a vent, I must have entered someone's house or something, as I heard some shrieks upon my entry lucky wall, find myself bouncing off a surface with some liquids, cooling off my agitated frame a moment before landing on something much softer, like a fluffy pillow, the fluffy pillow lets out a yelp, whoever I landed on really reminds me of those furry allies on our last mission, be sergeant yuri, help guy onto my tank, thanks for the assist, Name's Leon. Drinks are on me if we make it through this. No problem. I'm these situations it's always good to find those who. I notice the Inquisition badge on his shirt and paws. PTSD memories he see this and seems to hide it. Dart I know a good bar not far from here. MFW that's all you had to say. Sorry about that. Last experience with what I'm pretty sure in retrospect was an Inquisitor had me suffering from visions of parallel timelines and potential futures for days after. Got better, but haven't had any alcohol in my system since then. Medic his orders. I help him down the hatch and we make our way to the bar just as the governor's mansion explodes behind us. The Engenseer Margos Zeta 23. On the planet the half memory of an inquisitor told me not to go to. Not sure what's going on but I gained Margos clearance again after that guy showed up despite officially being an Engenseer. Explorator I was formally assigned to in orbit. Conceal identity so they don't find me and get mad I have Margos codes again bit paranoid but you never know. Sneaking up on traitors with hot dog. Get shot in the hands. Fucking drop the holy plasma gun a ridiculous distance. Blue screen dot data slot. Hear a yelp when it lands. Pray to the ominous yeah that's the full in its. Firing of traitors with macad and rightless pistols to keep their heads down and running towards Skaterii. Hear massive explosion. Vox reports it as the governor's mansion. Just keep running. Be me. Marcus Scumbag of the 221st Penal Regiment, currently held up on board the Baleful Punishment traveling from engagements to engagements. The original plan was for us to travel to my home world of Sevastopol to deal with the planetary governor and the Sevastopol rangers for allying with the TAU Empire. That was the plan anyway. High Command decides to make a detour to a nearby hive world to get more prisoners from the local Abides before we head to Sevastopol. We'll mostly be stuck up in orbit whilst the bigwigs gather the newbies for our mission oh well. At least the commissar won't be giving us his usual death glare with his one remaining unaugmented eye. Somehow that eye is scarier than his bionic eye. Decide to kick back in my cramped cell and not piss off any of the naval armsmen. Shotgun stocks to the stomach hurt like hell. Be inquisitorial agent Leon-esque. Hear the explosion. Realize the vet probably just incinerated or vaporized. Not sure if I can go back to my boss. Now, maybe she was somewhere safe underground. Try to keep it cool in front of Yuri. Since I seem to have spooked him earlier, heard he said something about time travel. That's above any and all pay grades I have had or ever will. 
Let off a sigh once we're off the main parade ground, pull out the detonator again and thumb the trigger, the area behind us detonates, big bang dot attack, at least that should cover our tracks from any of the heretic garbage, hope the daughter wasn't behind, held in the sewers or anything, fuck, start directing to the bar, got a safe comms line in the back of the bar, been staying there, place isn't bad, and pretty discerning, doesn't even usually allow abhumans, so no nid fuckers there hopefully, still be Marcus, turns out I have to scrap my plans to kick back and relax, the baleful punishments vox system rings out to tell us to get to the hangars, Arbites made contact with us and told us to bring down our troops to assist the regiments down below to clear out a genestealer cult, haven't killed genestealers yet in my service, double time immediately to the hangars in order to get loaded up and sent down to assist upon arrival we are armed with our standard issue half spent lasguns and terrible quality flak armor, our commissar decides not to give any speeches and orders us to immediately get into the transports, fine by me, even if some of the others are grumbling about the situation changing quickly for us on board, there is roughly 10,000 of us to load up so some of us will have to wait not me though, I'm one of the first on board, commissar likes my enthusiasm especially after the Corinus battles, strap myself into the transport and pray to the emperor to guide my shots, he probably isn't listening to me though, I am condemned after all, bz to 23, escaping traitors, but there's another patrol ahead, bigger this time, cut off from skiterii, according to sensors there's a vent or a manhole or something that will take me near the gun if I don't mind being battered around a bit, apparently Yuri's tank is down there too, Vox talking about penal legions being sent in, ignore it until I get down, dive into hole as traitors are shooting at me, crash into multiple things, hit the sides, break through stuck bag of trash, briefly redirected semi horizontally and shot over a roadway, roll to stop in front of some bar, plasma gunners, inside, every part of my body hated that entire experience, hear tanks approaching, hope to fuck it's Yuri, try to sit up, involuntarily enter sleep mode, as we make planet fall I can hear all the noise of war, explosions, screaming and the sound of lasgan fire, emperor bless me this day, I'm going to have some fun, the transport finally lands touching down on a relatively clear strip near the Arbides precinct fortress, I unbuckle myself and stand up as the ramp opens up to let us out, commissar orders us to hold the area whilst we wait for more troops to arrive, turn my head slightly to see the transport lift off to return to the baleful punishment almost catch a glance at an arbitrator who seems to be cursing to himself. Sorry mate looks like you're being backed up by scum. The area we are defending is pretty loctite whilst the rest arrive. It's the urban fighting I really want to get to. Once the rest of the troops arrive, the commissar orders us into formation to give us our orders. Condemned. You will be reinforcing the forces of the Valhallen 545th Armor and forces of the Adeptus Mechanicus, to prevent any of you from running. Arbitrators of the Adeptus Arbides as well as myself will be amongst you lot to keep you in line. Make these Xenos tainted scum remember the taste of the Emperor's wrath. Dismissed. His words shake me to the very core as normal. Immediately we begin moving out all 10,000 condemned men with a single purpose kill the bastards that dare to betray humanity and our glorious emperor. Be me. Felinid Merc Captain Scarlet. Mick Fluffy and two of my subordinates are flirting with a navy pilot. She looks like she's questioning her sexuality something fierce. Might need to ask if they're open for a fivesome later. See on you as governor's mansion explodes. He probably has a bunker or something so the contract is potentially still open. Also see on news something about a wave of dead cultist bodies. Apparently it's headed this way. Hear a crash behind me and see a plasma gun fell through the ceiling. One of my subordinates, too drunk to remember her name, picked it up and started fiddling with it. Also at some point her sister got here. Odor another 3 rounds for myself. This is gonna be a long day. Be plasma gun. 
situation has potentially gone from bad to worse. By the sounds of it, it would seem that I've landed in a bar inhabited by those felinids back on that desert planet. One of them has picked me up and started fiddling with me. Instinctively vent a bit to protect myself. I don't particularly trust these allies. Plus their yelps are kind of amusing to me get dropped again. I should have expected that. Something about this place seems strange. Can't help but feel some speck of calm in this chaotic room. Kind of like my previous masters. Can also feel the presence of the Engenseer drawing closer. Not sure how he followed me down. But I'm certainly not complaining. Need to let him know my master is in this room. B Sergeant Yuri managed to push the giant pile of bodies all the way down to the bar the Inquisition agent said. C Zeta 23 passed out out front and help him inside. We enter with most of the guardsmen from various regiments from the parade. Inside I see my old friend Scarlet's mercenary company partying like it's the end of the world. Which I guess it technically will be once the nids arrive. Now for Sissa Putty picked the side to make this bar our temporary base and sit Zeta down on one of the stools next to her sister. Us Valhallans and the other regiments start fortifying the place. Knocking down walls into neighboring hat blocks to expand. Atalans and Death Riders set up stables for their horses. The tech priests from the parade build a makeshift garage for the tanks and artillery. While we do that, some Skaterii and penal legionaries arrive and help. The entire time the bartender servitor keeps serving us drinks. A tech priest from the parade manages to rig up a hollow map of the city for us to plan our defense from the traitors and tyrannids. Call a meeting with Gamma Mu07, Scarlet, the Sororitas, the Arbites, and any other surviving members of regimentary command staff, as well as try to get a line to the, apparently to, Margus Explorator in orbit. From here we plan our next move. In case you can't tell, this is the perfect opportunity to introduce any characters from any regiments you want and how they plan to exterminate the Jenna Steelers and defend the city from Tyranids. BZ-23. Reactivate while being placed in a chair by Yuri. Give him a thumbs up and try to make sense of where I am. There are Felinids flirting with a pilot. A sister of battle drinking heavily, and another Felinid trying to hold a plasma gun that keeps venting at her. Felinids were on the desert planet but the pilot only looks vaguely familiar and I don't recognize the sister at all. Bar Servitor provides me with a drink which I down immediately. Very thankful I kept most of the bar components that let me do this. Get a couple of strange looks. Guess they're not used to seeing tech priests taking a normal drink. Realize that's not just any plasma gun that's the bloody holy relic. No wonder it's hissing more than the Felinid. Take plasma gun from Felinid. Apologizing for dropping it on her. Calm it with right of gradual venting and temperature control. Attempt to commune with its machine spirit. It seems unusually active. Lost my incense in that fucking vent so I just light a shot on fire for a moment before blowing it out and drinking it. Field improvisation dot unauthorized. Seems to work for the most part. Apologize for dropping it into a bar until it did a good job on those traitors. Be plasma gun. The Engenseer has found me. Make sure to singe off another hair or two from the curious for Linid before he recovers me mischievous spirit vent. The Engenseer attempts to soothe me. Blessing me in the process. Tries to apologize for dropping me. But I don't blame him. The only ones who should apologize are the traitors for standing against us. Have a slight heat spike as he says I did a good job on the traitors. Oh stop it you blush. Shortly after I reach cool temperatures, I suddenly spike up in heat. My new master just walked by me. I just know it. The Engenseer seems to pick up on this, but expresses some confusion. As the only Valhalla near us is Sergeant Yuri. It's not him, he already has a tank. It's not the Felinids. As fun as it is to harass them. Strangely enough, I don't even think it's a Valhalla. If not a Valhalla. I certainly hope my new master can be inducted into their service. I have someone in mind, but I'm honestly fine with whoever wants to carry hot dog, as someone I'm not expecting would certainly still be fun. 
be inquisitorial agent Leon-esque. Get to the bar. Val Halen and the rest of the guards spare no time in making defenses. See for Linnid's mercs. That explains the bouncer's arm. Move my way to the back room. Where I've been staying. Make a quick call to the boss. Explain the situation. He isn't happy. Can't say I blame him. Tells me not to come back empty handed. Either confirmation governor is dead. Or the girl in tow as expected. Fuck. Return to Yuri's makeshift command room. Drag in my desk of schematics of the local area. Etc. Explain the current situation for everyone in the room who might not be up to speed. This includes the Jenna Steeler cult infestation. Nids on the way. And the mission I'm on to retrieve some governor's daughter for his most holy inquisition. Any questions pick. Dragging out additional ordnance and weapons I've been taking from patrols I've been picking off over the month. Not expecting people to not want to have a gun at this point. B Marcus scumbag. We've arrived at the Valhallens forward operating base. Massive complex but not as well defended as that precinct fortress. Commissar immediately orders us to get to work in building up defenses. A collective yes sir comes from all of us and we proceed to work. We are getting dirty looks from folks due to us being condemned scum. Haven't been stared at like this in a long time and I'm sort of itching for a fight. We didn't come across any of the Jenna Steelers to take pot shots at. Grin to myself as I work. Shame there's some felinids around. One of our guys in the regiment doesn't shut the fuck up about how B used to run a felinid sex ring before his incarceration. B Ordo Chronos Inquisitor redacted. Here on Thars 8 on a bit of a tour of the most famous parties in all of Imperial history to celebrate the return of data purged. The Linnid women really know how to celebrate. They're partying like there's no tomorrow. At this point I'm too drunk to remember if there even is one on this world. Haven't had this much fun since. Redacted. On. Data expunged. After. Censored by his holy audace. Was defeated. Anyway. At some point a bunch of guardsmen from. Um. I don't know a bunch of different regiments show up and start fortifying the place. A few join in the party though. Can't remember last time I was this drunk. Or even what year it is supposed to be. After sharing a drink with a random sister that's here for reasons I can't remember I see someone familiar. Oh my holy emperor. Is that really you Zeta 23? I haven't seen you since. Data expunged. When you helped. Censored. Uh, data blocked. In two pieces. Going old school I see. Less augments. I of course approve. How have you been? How's? Error no data. Is Yuri here too? Haven't seen him in. Redacted. Years. B Marcus scumbag. Defense is all set up. Higher ups seem pleased with the fortifications. Gun emplacements. Spider holes. Mines in the whole nine yards. One of my lads even spray painted some propaganda on the walls. He's lucky the commissar didn't catch him. Speaking of the commissar. He is approaching us to update us on the news. Seems like we'll be dealing with mids. Most of you are going to die. Vox tells us not to nick any gear from our allies. Wise idea on his part. Probably doesn't want most of us dead before the high fleet arrive. Wonder how the baleful punishment is going to handle the incoming fleet. I get singled out by the commissar. Condemned 9820. Come with me. Don't have to tell me twice. We begin walking back to the main HQ. I can feel the glares of the guard. They don't frighten me though. Only the commissar does. Be me. Palatine Luna. Finally find a bar in this emperor forsaken recruit heap. It's full of people. Including a not insignificant number of humanoid females with feline features. Multiple of them appear to be quite overtly lesbian. And are hitting on seemingly unexperienced women. Others are seemingly in the process of dismantling or destroying the very structure. While yet more of them are herded into the place. To either fortify it. Or make camp in the place. One of them. Unco. Waves me over. I choose to assume it as a request. As he doesn't have the rank to order me. But I don't really give a fuck right now. The Inquisitor. Because there's always one. Isn't of a recognizable discipline. He looks quite solidly off his tits. He sloshes a pint mug towards me. Logically. As a sororitas I shouldn't be drinking in a war zone. Or a briefing. As a woman. 
I shouldn't be taking a drink given to me by an impaired man inquisitor. As a possible sicker, I know this'll make things flare up again, but quite frankly I don't give a fuck. Take a chug. The very faint voices of my sisters in my head mostly affirm this is a sensible course of action. Oh by the emperor that's good. Another five and I'll be just about right to get out there and spread the emperor's love and empathy to everyone. Be me, brother Basilius Connus of the Imperial Fists Legion. Also a contemptor dreadnought after I got chopped in half by some traitorous iron warrior on Sebasta Sive. Fighting on some an important agri world on the very fringe when I get kicked by some titan hit the ground after 5 minutes and get knocked out. Wake up. There's now a town built around me. I seem to be part of some shrine. Also my feet are stuck in the ground. Check the chronometer. Dawn save me. It's M32. Try to communicate with the citizens but my speakers are broken. Stay awake for another century before going to sleep. Wake up. Check chronometer. M35. I'm now surrounded by near complete darkness. I am no longer stuck in the ground. I am now standing on a recrete pedestal. Also I am surrounded by pillars, pipes, and crumbling walls with broken windows there's also some crumbling statues of what I think is the emperor. That's funny. My altimeter informs me I've only moved several meters. Warning ground unstable. Don't dare move. Stay awake for a decade before going back to sleep. Wake up. I'm now buried in rubble. Altimeter informs me I'm several hundred meters lower than before. Whatever. Tired. Go to sleep. Wake up. Rumbling sounds. Loud booms in the distance. Want to sleep. People in front of me. People. Wake up a little more. They seem strange. Something moves in from the side of Xenos. A Xenos. The people are bowing to it and pointing at me. Anger. Extreme anger. Activate the rotary cannon. So angry the speakers start blaring. Open fire on the foul Xenos. Squish the Xenos lovers with my fist and stomp on their corpses. The Xenos and humans are dead. Hear more booms. They seem to be coming from above me. Wander off looking for a way up to the surface. Check chronometer. M41. BZ-23. Plasma gun calmed. Felinid looks cranky at me about getting singed. I'm sure she knows about the various field litanies relating to plasma guns and if she doesn't I don't want to tell her. Gun almost seems to jump when someone walks by. What vox? Ordo Chronos Inquisitor is here and drunk. I certainly didn't expect the Imperial Inquisition. Vague memories spring back to full memories as he talks with me. I've been dropped down several levels of high through event. You told me not to come here. I couldn't avoid it. Remember the gun moving slightly. Allow holy plasma gun to rotate slowly on a weapons mount. Hope it manages to point to whoever it's reacting to. Yuri is having some kind of meeting about rescuing a governor's daughter over there. I'm keeping out of it because. Remember the inquisitor is drunk. I don't have much to contribute. Definitely not an issue of rank. Hope he gets the hint about whatever he did to bring back my Margo's clearance on the desert planet. Not like I can wink. Plasma gun rotating slowly but it's a bit crowded in here. Hope I get it to the right person or at least to someone competent. It's certainly not any of the Skaterii or the Felinids. Could it be the sister? Quietly drag Gordo Kronos to the bar. Not like you'll mind. Unobstructed view of the command meeting. Blessed plasma gun hot dog should be able to point to these people with minimal confusion unless someone walks in or the Felinids get extra rowdy or the Inquisitor starts pouring drinks into me or the bar. Disable concern generator eggs. Be auto chronos inquisitor. Redacted. Burp. Zeta 23 seems to only be picking up every other word I say. He's cradling a plasma gun like a child. This confuses me. But I manage to scrape together enough of my mind to more or less realize what is happening. Oh I get it. You don't have lavender clearance yet. This must be early then. Our second meeting. Right. Well. To sum up. I'm. Redacted. Uh, error. 404. One of. Redacted. In. Censored. At some point. Data purged. And you will. Data expunged. 
don't remember telling you not to come here, must be a future me, so should probably look into that. Take another swig and wrap my arm around his shoulder. Oh 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 oh. We should investigate together. It'll be just like the old days. Eh. Well I guess it technically will be the old days for you, isn't? Data purged by his holy ordas. Fun like that. Be we. Primus in the field. At behest of the Magus. It is day of the uprising. Ascension is coming. The Star Emperor will cleanse this cruel world. All will be right. Knight of Knives went off without a hitch. PDF either in the pocket of our family, or belonging to the heretical dark gods. Move as one. Strike as one. Feel the stars in the blood. Heretics are a liability. Kill them off months ago. Governor spills the beans early. He ain't heavy he's my brother. MP4. Ducked back inside the palace to the sound of Lathar. Feel slap of the patriarch upside his head from the command table. Guard are fighting back. Assuming direct command. JPG. Margos is doing his bit. Feel father's fist around our brainstem. We sing and fight in harmony. For the emperor among the stars for the family. Time spent improving the lives of citizens pay off. Ended starvation. Ended purges. Built homes. Free by Arfagus healthcare. Killed the followers of the dark gods. Half the rebels aren't even family yet. Troll age. Chambermaid thanks me for my service. Hands me my gun. She was the last governor's seventh mistress. Pat her stomach. Say goodbye to my son and future patriarch. Don Helmet. She will be safely among the refugees, which the loyal PDF are escorting to evacuation. Vox PDF loyal to the family. Order them to drop the hammer on those fucking tanks. Mount up in a chimera from the royal stockpile. Suitably upgraded. Go to meet my destiny as a commander. Praise the Star Emperor, praise the family. Simple as. Daddy's home eggs. Be Marcus. Me and the Commissar eventually reach the main HQ. Ordered to stand at attention whilst the Commissar does the talking. Gentlemen. Sorry for arriving slightly late. Had to make sure the men under my command finished up their defensive lines. Now then give me a full rundown of the plan. So I can evenly spread out my 10,000 condemned amongst you lot and your various tasks he speaks boldly and clearly as his bionic eye seems to be scanning the leadership around the area. I can see a scowl slightly building on his face as he and I can slightly hear some getting rowdy due to alcohol. Man it's been ages since I last had a drink. Turn my attention back to the meeting and watch on whilst they discuss the plans pray to the emperor all the while under my breath making sure only myself and he can hear it. Don't want to be too noisy after all. BZ to 23. Inquisitor still talking with me and half of his words are replaced with sensor bars. How are you doing that with your mouth Jif? Pretty sure the gun wants to go to the sister and... Well, if it doesn't, I'll find out soon enough Inquisitor mentions Lavender Clearance. Ask him to wait here a moment. Go to the command meeting table. Tell the sister a relic may have chosen her as next wielder. Litany of glorious assignment Vox. Hand over hot dog reverently. Also let her know to comb me if this turns out to be a mistake since its machine spirit is quite the character. Tell the meeting at large that if I can get high enough clearance I can put any sensors in the city to work for us and should be able to detect movement through the high vents that go between layers. Show Margot's status openly. Hope that it doesn't raise too many questions about me and searing for a tank regiment. Hopefully this gets me enough clearance to know what the Ordo Kronos guy is talking about. Be plasma gun. Rizza pattern. Designation hot dog. The Engin Seer put me on a mount. Said that it would help us locate my master. Not sure how it works. But trust him as always and start trying to focus on. Anything really master doesn't really have any loudspeakers calling out to me. I just know master when I see master. The Engin Seer suddenly picks me up. Apparently, I was pointing to Master. During the short walk, can't help but feel that I'm being watched by a familiar figure give out a sudden glow and hear some panic scampering. Scaredy cat smug. After the scampering, I feel the Master's presence getting closer. The Engenseer slows his walk to a halt, offering me to someone. It's him. It's Master. Master awkwardly takes me in hand. One hand firm on my grip, the other not so much using a hand, 
bit of wrist, as master tries to hold both my body and a bottle of alcohol with the other arm. Just like my second and fifth masters, vent ever so slightly, sounding like a purr, as well as glowing a bit while in master's confused embrace. Master seems to have some pretty intricate armor, by the feel of the breastplate, not to mention protective. His voice is surprisingly less deep than any of my previous masters. The Engenseer also referred to him as sister, which is also strange. Wait, I think master is a she, not a he. Also, if the Engenseer had a sister, I think I would have heard of her by now. Vaguely remembering how some of my previous masters really liked some warriors called the Sisters of Battle. They held the sisters in such high regard that they would usually talk about how they would go so far as to help them out of their power armor. Hope master likes the Van Halens. I would love for her to meet them, as I'm sure they would really get along. B for Linnet Merc Captain Scarlet. Be absolutely wasted. The Inquisitor with the funny outfit and strange voice really knows how to party. He keeps going on about certain things I don't get and keeps making these beeping noises with his mouth that are super funny. Try flirting with Battle Sister, but she doesn't seem to notice me. Sad cat noises purr. Soon a bunch of guardsmen show up and start tearing up the place. Literally, they break down walls and bring their tanks and animals inside. Another section becomes a tank garage. Even install a hollow map of the city. One guy with a Inquisition badge goes into the back and comes out with a briefcase full of maps of the governor's mansion and bunker. Says something about rescuing a princess or something. Too drunk to hear it all. And is looking for volunteers. No takers yet. I knock back the last of my drink and immediately volunteer my merc band for the job. Explain our fees, resume, and give him a contract to sign. MFW I may have just signed us up for a suicide mission and didn't even realize it. Be inquisitorial agent Leon-esque. No one seems plussed on the idea to go rescue the governor's daughter. Honestly still hope she's in some safe room underneath where the palace used to be thanks I hate it pick. The Linnet that reeks of booze approaches and volunteers her unit as mercs she has papers. The fucking thing has fucking papers Walter. Go over the resume and fees. Seem reasonable. Of course have a discretionary fund for the operation that will cover this. Thank the emperor I've been procuring arms and ammunition rather than buying it however. Gives for Linnet a hold on finger and goes into the back of the bar again. Pulls out a chest and puts it on the counter. Opens it. It's full gems and other royal treasures. Been knocking over reliquaries when I can to maybe bring the stuff back to the boss for brownie points. Ask if the contents of the chest in addition to their normal fees will buy their steadfast loyalty for the foreseeable future. Also mention they have their pick of the loot and the palace ruins. I swear on my badge. For what it's worth. Realize I might be overselling it but I need some help with this. I'm coming to Ash. Be ace lightning pilot Tiff. Still being flirted on by the Folinid mercenaries. See their boss talking to an inquisitor agent about some kind of height job. He pull out a treasure chest. Hello Imperor that's a lot off thrones chatching prime myself away from the Folinids and approach. Offer myself as the transport and mention I know how to fly a Valkyrie. Who wouldn't want to join in a rescue mission with a bunch of sexy cat girl mercs? Be me. Arch Margos Explorator Prime. The imposter Arch Margos Explorator hasn't done anything else. Sends Kateri I marshal to the meeting of all the guardsmen. Get a call from the surface and project a hollow of myself into the meeting room. The leader of the Vhalans is wondering what I bring to the table in the defense against the Tyranids. Explain I have a few maniples of Skiteri I. Some drop keeps with knights, and can use the arc itself to engage the high fleet and the void before it makes planet fall. See that Margos I sent down to the jungle world to die a few months ago is still alive. Ask me about something called lavender clearance. What is lavender clearance? Look it up in the database. Think I find it. Get a headache. What is lavender clearance? Look it up in the database. Think I find it. Get a headache. What is lavender clearance? Look it up in the database. 
Think I find it. Get a headache. BZ23. Holy Plasma Gun seems happy with its new wielder. Hope it doesn't get too far away. I'll miss it. Explorator seems fine with me being alive and Amargos again and all that. Caught in a bit of a loop after I mention clearance though. Realize the Inquisitor who seems to have chosen this bar as a beating point is far more into rescuing the governor's daughter than anything else that's going on. Grab a data slot and start going over the routes and detected Xenos and so on. Realize at least some of the Valhallans are going to have to support the rescue mission will have Skiteria in the area and possibly heavier Mechanicus support again. If the explorator gets out of his loop at least, start preparing recommendations for Yuri on what to deploy. Penal Legion is already doing their thing and fortifying the whole bar base area. Faint ancient imperial signature deep in the undercity shows a marine sigil then disappears under the palace directly, but a great distance down. Almost directly where the city was probably built initially. What data bank? Decides not to alert people until I get a hard fix. Keep preparing things for Yuri and Inquisitorial Agent Esk and passing them along Esk's just giving away thrones upon thrones both in cash and gear. Keep an eye out for any decoders that will escalate my clearance so I can learn my auto chronos friend's name and stop seeing sensor bars when he tells me important things hope the auto chronos will stop me doing whatever it is I'm not meant to do on this planet before I do it. From what he was saying it seems like we survive either way. Notice Xenos trying to surround outer patrols but getting picked off easily enough probably time to go. Wait by Yuri and keep updating the data I've sent him and ask. Be me. Captain Crunch the 8th. Or was it that I? Can't remember. Haven't had a good fight for ages. Been so bored I'm crumping Gretchen's. Dears nobody to fight. Sitting in my big chair on board my color cruiser. Some small jit actually walks up to me. Think about crumping him. So bored I don't. He starts squeaking. Captain. Captain. Ignore him. Captain. Eyes found us some nids. Some nids to fight. Sit up. Nids. Yeah Captain. We's got some gits to fight. Where? A whole fleet of them. Ed in for some Yumi planet. I already plugged it into Dar ship. Captain Crunch is starting to think. Little Jit is still squeaking. Please can we go please can we go please can we go. Crump him. Stand up. Pick up Dar special yellow thing the one that connects to the whole fleet. Boys. Where's going to? Wararararag. Be me. Skateri I Marshal Gamma Mu 07. Face palm as our Margo sent us into a loop right in front of everyone making us look like a bunch of idiots. Decide to take over the presentation. Explain how we are really just a small force of Skateri I sent to gather recruits from the underhive. But once our Margos leaves her loop we should have reinforcements. Also bring up how our recruits prisoners need a way up to the Ark Mechanicus so they can begin their training. Here's Eta 23 mumble under his breath something about picking up the signal of a contemptor dreadnought in the lower levels. That certainly catches my attention. Message him through the new sphere we could go down and retrieve him since we've been to the underhive before and could navigate. We just need someone to watch our recruits. And a few more skaterii to recoup the losses we suffered there last time. So long as we don't run into any pure strains we should be fine. Be me Marcus. Watch the commissar look over at the skaterii. Already know what he's about to say. They aren't skaterii but I can hand over some of the 221st to assist in your objective. Active. There are currently 10,000 condemned in the 221st so just tell me how many you'll require to assist you and I'll hand them over. Well then, seems like some of us will be working with the Skaterii. My eyes shift over to the bar before looking back to the commissar talking to the Skaterii not sure if I want to deal with the nids themselves or help out the Mechanicus. Definitely don't want them getting a hand on our potential reinforcements we were going to grab from the holding cells in the pre Precinct Fortress, the contempted Renaud Connors, of the Imperial Fists Legion, wandering around the gloomy depths of whatever this place is now dimly wonder how big this place really is, run into several Xenos hives, swiftly purge them, kill all the humans serving the Xenos too, to think that Xenos have found their way onto this agri world, if it still is an agri world, Dawn's Fists this place is big, there's no way to tell where I'm going. 
Received vague compings from something above me. Message garbled and incomplete. Something about the Mechanicus and Pure Strains run diagnostics. Error 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 error. Please seek tech priest immediately. Run detailed diagnostics. Error. Spinal missile launcher missing. Error. Speaker system heavily damaged. Error. Comms system heavily damaged. Error. Obstructions in error. Error. Cogitation systems fully operable. Warning. Fluid levels dangerously low. Warning. Oil levels dangerously low. Warning. Cogitation systems in need of update. The last scheduled update was 9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
Somehow the commissar understood what I said over the new sphere and offered some of his varlets as backup. WTF Tetrazi well that takes care of our losses somewhat but I'm curious where he got an augment that let him perceive the new sphere. Or why. We also still need someone to babysit the new recruits or ferry them to the Ark. Also despite trying to talk to Zeta23 I seem to have accidentally contacted the Dreadnought as well. Was not aware Dreadnoughts had a new sphere connection either. Hasn't responded back but this pin we got confirms he's still alive. To think. Meeting a functional Dreadnought from who knows how long ago. Now we have to go down there. Just waiting on the go ahead to start the expedition to the Underhive. B Marcus. Commissar smirks as he orders me over. Immediately follow it to a T. He then leans in and whispers to me. Gather 4000 of your fellow condemned. You'll be following the command of the Mechanicus for this. He leans back and dismisses me. Immediately begin to run back to the rest of the 221st to gather up a force for the mission ahead. It's going to take a while but oh well. Takes a while to gather up 4000 guys. Most of these guys won't make it back to the main battle but hey they won't get ripped apart by a gaunt. Make sure everyone is properly equipped. Malay weapons are sorted out in the forms of scrap metal someone made into shivs for the lot of us. Not sure if that falls under the no stealing stuff rule the commissar gave us. But seeing as no one has been executed yet I think we are in the clear. Probably should have asked the commissar where he and the skateri I wanted us to meet them up at. Frag in hell Marcus slap. BZ to 23. Skateri I Marshall takes over presentation. Messages me about going after the dreadnought commissar somehow picks up on the idea and offers his condemned as backup. Provide the marshal with the dreadnought signature as best I can tell. Fortunately detected requesting maintenance temporarily which clears it up for a second take the coordinates and estimated vectors it had for those two points and get a rough idea of where it's headed. Pass all data to the marshal and as much as can be reasonably translated into human readable format onto data slots for the commissar and his adjutant. I just read Smarcus but he's a guardsman. Make sure and bless his weapons while I'm at it. Also recommend the marshal and commissar move out at the same time as the rescue mission. If we all move at once the enemy can't respond to everything. Should be able to spare a couple of tanks at least to cover them part way but you're not fitting a Russ into the underhive. First platoon will probably be on the rescue mission though. Sister Luna seems to be taking well to hot dog. She volunteers for the rescue mission. I get in contact with the rest of the Valhallans engineers and ensure we have tanks ready to move out. Make sure there's a command tank for Yuri. Get them to bless any chillers that are handy as well. The condemned might need them commandeer any hardy civilian trucks if you have to. One of them tells me we're expecting a special delivery from Inkblot. Assume the Ordo Kronos is at it again and get an LZ cleared while we're all ready to move out. Hope it's nothing bad. B Marcus. Just arrived outside the command center with my 4000 strong force. Order them to stand at attention and not to cause a ruckus even if they get insulted by Valhallans. We deserve it after all. We are criminals. Enter the HQ and make my way to the commissar who is in the middle of reading a data slot. One of the Mechanicus boys looks at me. He then takes my last gun and blesses it before handing it back to me. Wonder if he knows it's at half charge and that I have a shiv in my belt. Commissar orders me to stand to attention and to report on the status of the force he wanted forces prepared with the numbers as requested sir. Remaining penal forces out defending the parameter as we speak get a nod of approval by the commissar as he hands me the data slot. Have a read through it to make sure I have my orders memorized. Seems we're off to find a dreadnought and do a rescue mission. Never seen a dreadnought before. Get excited but hide it under a veil of stoicism and professionalism. What are your orders now sirs? I think the admatch forces were sirs anyway. I can't tell. Be for Linid mercenary 9 MC fluffy. Wake up under table. Floor smells like spilled beer. Piss. Vomit. And seamen. Also kind of sticky. Oh well. I have slept in worse. Get up and look around. Looks like the strip club is being converted into some sort of guard command post. It's those Valhallans again from the past two missions. Plus a few others. Met. Not my problem. Some of my fellow felinids are still about. And most of them are still drunk. 
so clearly we still have some excuse to be here. Someone can wake me up if I am needed. Go back to sleep. B plasma gun. Rizza pattern. Designation hot dog. Currently resting in the arms of master. Master already volunteered to go on a mission. She seems as excited to kill heretics as I am. By the sounds of the Engancer and some other guys in charge. It sounds like some grand mission is being made to save some princess. Master has placed me on the table, trying to familiarize herself with my frame. No one seems to be able to teach her how to care for me at the moment. Oh well. I think I can function without any of those rights for now. Master seems to have found my venting functions and is getting acquainted with my venting procedures. Accidentally vents me a bit too much and gasps a bit. Please don't be dead already. Hear a sigh of relief from her. Have my own mental sigh as I hear her comment about her armor protecting her. Her master continues to move on to trying to figure out how to replace my fuel canister. She's either a pretty quick learner or quite lucky. As she figures it out pretty quickly better to figure that out now than during battle. Plasm Gunsense's machine. Instinctively begin to heat up a bit. Master adjusts me to look at my coils when I suddenly hear her snap at someone to get Get away from her drink. Glad to help protect master's fuel. My previous masters have always operated me better when they were buzzed. On a side note, it sounds like some people are trying to get master's attention, but are both far away and right next to us at the same time. Maybe master's drink started getting me buzzed when she accidentally spilled some on my coils just now. Be me. Colonel Farragut of the Imperial Postal Inspection and Protection Service we ensure Imperial packages and mail gets delivered to who it needs to whether they want it or not. On our way to some hive world this time. Top secret cargo too. Don't get many of those. The astropath has informed me that our destination is currently dealing with a Jenna Steeler uprising. Suggests that my men could be put to good use on the world. Ignore her. Our job is to protect the post and ensure it doesn't get opened by non-addressees feel bad about the inquisitor we had to execute for trying to open the top secret cargo reassure myself with the thought that the post must and will be delivered no matter the cost. Feel the jump from war. Get informed we'll be starting landing procedure soon. Also it's all out war down there. The post must be protected JPG. Be Scarlet. New boss pulls out a treasure chest full of gems. Oh 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 shiny cat. Says it's a bonus for not betraying him later. Along with being able to loot the governor's bunker. Who does he think we are? Orcs. We also upgrade all our standard LAS guns to hot shots. Lift up 9MC Fluffy by the armpits and drag her fat ass to the Valkyrie. Pick related. Full stop. Along the way sober up. The Linnids drink so much because our biology makes us sober much faster. I'm in a Valkyrie with a new hotshot LAS gun the Inquisitor agent. A sister of battle who's whispering to her plasma gun. And as many of my mercs that fit. Driven by the sexy pilot from the bar. Only have vague memories so I pull out the contract we signed and go through it. Let's see. Rescue mission blah blah blah. Some nobles bunker. Blah blah blah. Salvage rights and bonus for loyalty. Okay all caught up now. Put away the contract and look out the window. Hopefully nothing too bad in the bunker. Still be Scarlet. We obviously agreed not to betray him later as that would be bad for business. BZ to 23. Rolling out in Lemon Russ Conqueror Ania. Left Yuri at the guard base. I work the ore specs and boost comms in place of having an actual command tank should just be a quick skirmish to distract enemies near the bunker then back to the base to link up with the rest of the 545th. Demolish a Betsy, punish a Katia, and exterminate a Dasha following Val Hallen's tank not sure how many of the condemned are on this mission but they are here. Screened by the tanks. Still in communication with Marshal Gamma Mu 07. Let him know it's safe to move out on the other mission. Tell Esk to wait until we engage the first of the enemy forces between us and the site of the former palace before letting Tiff get ahead of us. Can't detect the dreadnought right now. Heat signatures some distance ahead in cover. Amplify and enhance. Xenos and traitors. Notice crude mines between two groups of enemies. Mark mines and heat sigs. Relay to all tanks. Relay enemy positions to nearest condemned to. 
bless the targeting sensors that they might guide our shells to destroy the enemy before they destroy us, ready to engage. It's going to be one hell of an opening volley, here tanks firing, mines destroyed instantly, Laskins whining, Valkyrie coming up to almost directly overhead, focus on marking targets, wonder if Gamma Mu 07 is having as much fun down in the underhive, contempt upon us of the Imperial Fists Legion, happily purging away in this strange darkness, slaughtering Xenos and Xenos lovers by the errors, the humans have been screaming about how the Star Brothers are going to avenge them good, more Xenos to kill, so much Xenos blood running down me it's fix my oil problems, the Xenos are good for something after all, steadily marching towards the heat signatures at the base of the giant pillar, seems to be the biggest pillar out of all of them, walk up a small hill and get a better view, it's an entire colony of Xenos and Xenos lovers, zoom in, the pillar is a giant elevator, it's coming down, man in extravagant clothing steps off, his clothes are extremely singed and smoking he's got some girl with him too, and several Xenos, some of them bigger than the rest, suffer not the Xenos to live, march rapidly towards the camp, must purge everyone before taking that elevator up, be me, Colonel Farragut, docks are overrun with civilians, could land there, but not allowed to kill anyone unless they're threatening the post could probably get away with a technicality but it's best not to risk it, the governor's mansion is a smoking crater, plus it was in the middle of the main square as good a place as any, order pilot to set us down there, check the delivery recipient, hope it's not the planetary governor, deliver to inkblot, distress jpg, top secret cargo means no return address, fuck it, the paperwork's already fucked, Whichever non-heretic walks up to us first gets dibs order boys to begin unloading as soon as we land. Someone's got to want all the tanks we have at least. B Marcus, Commissar and Admech forces order us to move out and follow the tanks there's 4000 of us and they've allowed some of us to hop into Chimera as the rest stay behind and jog until we are ordered to move in front to defend the tanks from heavy enemy fire. Being meat shields is one of our specialties after all according to most other regiments even if we've been allowed by the Admech to steal civilian vehicles most of us aren't going to do that just in case someone decides to execute us. Notice the minefield. Thankfully we aren't being ordered to walk into it and clear it yet. Targets get marked by the tanks and open fire upon them. We all follow suit proceeding to open fire with our last guns into where the tanks are firing at mines are cleared out by the tanks so W are allowed to move forward. We move in between the tanks and take pot shots when available before falling back behind the tanks to check our last gun charge. Thankfully still got enough juice to last for a bit before we'll need to recharge them wonder how the rest of the 221st is holding up whilst I fire a Laskin bolt. They'll probably be fine, I think. BZ-23, Vox esque to move ahead. Think I spot Dreadnought for a moment but it's gone instantly. Condemned finishing up the first group of hostiles. Distraction is a success. Hole has been punched for rescue team. Vox condemned to pull back behind the tanks and move back to base for the next deployment. Start rolling tanks backwards in a semblance of a firing line. Slow going since we don't want to squash any friendly infantry. A few traitors follow but they come in range of our guns too openly. BRRRRRT Vox. Checking sensors. Apparently the delivery for. Inkblot is going to the bunker, not sure what to make of that, but we're most of the way to base by the time it gets close to landing, maybe Yuri will have some ideas, maybe the Ordo Kronos will tell me something, leave the 4 tanks at edge of base on guard for any stragglers, please to see the rest of the regiment's tanks are basically good to go, maximum readiness, order the regiment's tech priests to get as many of the condemned power packs recharged as possible before the next deployment, Authorized jury rigging energy modulator to the civilian vehicles we didn't use to charge many it at a time. Normally kind of heresy outside of extreme circumstances but I'm a Margos. Head back into base. Report success on the skirmish. Tell Yuri about the mysterious delivery craft which is probably landing as I speak. 
Tell him no updates on the Dreadnought. Mention vague reports of an ore craft have been coming through the looping explorator's signal but it's not yet imminent. Keep scanning Zeno's presence and movements through the shafts and vents would request to double the internal sentries if they weren't already. All of this is delivered in about 15 seconds and also sent to the briefing tables the Lola standby and worry over sensors. B Marcus. We finish clearing up the first group of hostiles. No casualties yet. Fall back to the base after being ordered over the Vox by the Mechanicus Commissar keeps us set up in our 4000 strong force just in case we are needed again. The remaining 6000 join up with us to stick together. Tech priests come and start taking our Laskan power packs to recharge them. Seeing as there's 10,000 of us they probably won't be able to recharge all of us and I see a look of disgust on one of their faces. They really don't like working with us much. They'd probably have happily had us turned into servitors if they had higher authority simply awaiting the next task to be voxxed to us by the higher ups. Take my shiv out of my belt and get to sharpening. A ship has to got to be in top condition after all. B Skateri I Marshal Gamma Mu 07. Ready to move down into the underhive and find the dreadnought. Leave the recruits in the base and take the Valiots and surviving Skateri I down in Chimeras. Following the same route we left, eventually we reach the place we were ambushed and start investigating. One of the condemned finds a body. Whatever killed it definitely wasn't a radium carbine. Decide to follow the trail of dead bodies for now and see where it leads. Btiff. Flying the Valkyrie over to the ruins of the governor's mansion while the ground forces distract the tide of Jenna Steeler cultists. Reach the crater. Definitely a bunker. See a giant cube of what I'm guessing is adamantium with a hatch at the top sticking out of the groove. Lower buildings. Hope the agent has a way to get inside the bunker. Be inquisitorial agent Leon esque well I certainly didn't expect this much of a turnout for rescue mission doubt they don't think I'm an inquisitor do I? Will my boss kill me if I don't correct them? Fuck. Rescuing Ash takes priority. Graciously accept the support of the drunken sister, Valkyrie pilot, and everyone else looking to lend a hand. Let the hired help take their pick of my secret stash I brought out but not before quickly getting myself set up. Auto shotgun. Some grenades of various flavors. Trusty knife I was gifted upon joining up with the boss. Some body armor. I lose the winter jacket. It's stylish but offers little protection. Make sure I have plenty of ammunition for my personal favorite gun. An Arkyatech pistol by the name of Novum Rubrum. Bought it from some possibly heretic merchant a good while back. I bought it at a high price. Last but not least a little something picked up from some of the local Xeno scum miners. A breaching explosive launcher armed with a special red tip warhead. Our key into the bunker. Full stop. Dart or maybe if the patriarch is still kicking at ground zero of his most holy and trigger happy navy. Join my compatriots on the Valkyrie. Surprised how easy the ride is there. Make it to the bunker. Unsling the launcher and start arming it. Not a tech priest but life with inquisitors teaches you how to press a few buttons haven't been this nervous since first day with the Arbites. Relate a Zeta 23 to make sure our forces stay clear of the bunker. As what I have in my hands is going to really fuck it up. Relay to ace pilot if to get ready for choppy waters. Still priming the launcher. Dart aim at the bunker. Start relaying 15 second countdown. Full stop. I'm gonna feel this in my arms for a week. Oh and of course finalized things with the Fulinids. Who wouldn't? Maybe ask their leader on a date after all is said and done. Be Fulinid Mer Captain Scarlet. Reach the governor's mansion. Or I really should say crater. Bunker looks completely intacted though. Our boss opens the rear hatch and pulls out a rocket launcher and starts to count down. He then winks at me. God Emperor what did I say while I was drunk? Wait. Didn't this bunker just survive a direct hit from a fucking Arc Mechanicus? What does he think his rocket is gonna do? B Colonel Farragut. Pilot informs me the landing zone. The crater at the governor's mansion currently has what appear to be friendlies at it. Fuck it. If they get squished it's their problem. The administratum's post division only cares about civvies. Going through the records for this cargo has completely fried my brain. 
Everything except the location and delivery date is completely fucked. I think it even says this cargo is from M37. Handwriting is so bad I can't even tell. Pilot informs me we've landed at the crater. Can't tell if we squished the friendlies or not. Ignore him. Tell the boys to start unloading and securing the area. Cargo might be a total clusterfuck but still gotta do my job. B Marcus. Commissar and the marshal ordered us to move back to the ambush location one of us. A man by the name of Johansson finds a body, leading to a trail of many other corpses all with the same wounds. Marshall seems very interested in finding what happened. Move up and follow the trail. We are ordered ahead to act as shields for the Skaterii just in case of another ambush. Johansson is muttering prayers to the Emperor to keep himself calm. Dude's a schizophrenic that did something on his home world that he doesn't like to talk about. Commissar won't even tell us why he's here. Ignore it and keep moving. Be contempt of dreadnought Connors. Happily purging this foul Xenos camp. Getting jumped by more Xenos like Xenos but kill them all the same. The expensively dressed man is running back towards the elevator. The girl running after him as it comes down and new Xenos steps off it. A big one. Almost as big as me. The man and the girl run onto the elevator and go back up. The big Xenos looks towards me and its head starts to. Error. Biological control disconnected. Automation engaged. Watch as the beast starts roaring while it charges at me. I'm also no longer in control. As soon as the beast gets close the dreadnought punches it out of the way puts a good burst of fire into it too. The beast screams so loud I hear it in my brain. It runs off as I start to hear screams of more Xenos coming towards me. Biological control reactivated. Dimly wonder what that was all about. Ignore it and feel very happy that today is nothing but purging Xenos. Even if that big one got away. Time to purge. Be me. Skateri I Marshall Gamma Mu 07. Continue following the trail of Genestealer cultist corpses. There's also a few pure strains here and there. Whatever did this was very thorough. None of them are playing dead and there haven't been any ambushes. Keep following the path till we hear a lord draw followed by a smack of metal on meat and the sound of a rotary cannon firing. I think we're close to the dreadnought. Ready your weapons and be prepared for anything. Big Captain Crunch 7th. Or was it the 8th? Sailing through space. Still a while till we get to the Umi planet. Starting to get a little bored. A Gretchen wanders in front of me. Crump him. Feel better. B Marcus. We continue to move through the literal piles of dead genus stealers. One man by the name of Davis says that they'd smell nicer when burning. To the surprise of no one he's in the regiment for arson. Another guy named Melissen is stabbing some of the corpses with his ship he attached to his last gun just to make sure. Soon we hear the sound of gunfire and a loud bestial roar. Johansson starts muttering harder, saying that we are approaching a great blight against the Emperor. See his fingers twitching at certain intervals. Hear the order to bring up weapons. Commissar relays it again just to drill it down further. We ready our last guns and proceed to move forward. Johansson is praying to the Emperor to bless our shots so that they may surely hit true still wondering what he did to end up with us. Probably church related judging from his mutterings and constant praying. Be Arch Margo's Explorator Prime. What is lavender clearance? Look it up in the database. Think I find it. Get a headache. What is lavender clearance? Look it up in the dat. Console beeps before I can look into lavender clearance. Orc war fleet detected warping into system near Thars 8's furthest moon. Other Arc Mechanicus is nowhere to be found. Fuck Macadendrides. I'm the only void asset. I can't take on a fleet by myself. Need to be tactical omniscia. Orient Arc Mechanicus so right broadside faces oncoming orc fleet and left faces Thars 8. Begin preparations to launch fighters and boarding crafts as well as start the rituals to warm up the heavier broadside ordnance. Meanwhile ready landers with Skateri I ground and air vehicles and start rituals to awaken the knights to be loaded into the drop keeps and deployed into the wastelands surrounding the hive cities. Wait for orcs to approach. Another beep. Or Spex detects the Tyranid Hive Fleet has started entering the edge of the system. Orc Fleet will still reach us first. Start praying.
Again to Thimachina good faith still be Arch Margo's explorator prime also arrange for ships to ferry up Skateria recruits and maybe pick up a few varlets to add to the servitor population. B Plasma Gun, Rizza Patton, Designation Hot Dog, Master and I are in a Valkyrie along with the Felinids and an Inquisitorial agent. Apparently the pilot was present on the desert world. Wonder what she thought of it as a pilot. Start wondering if I can be fired at other aircraft. As I am in deep philosophical thought. Suddenly feel a bump. We've landed. Master and allies start taking up positions as I hear a countdown from the agent. Looks like we're doing a breach and clear of some bunker with quite the breaching method heating up with excitement and anticipation. Happy plasma gun noises glow. Still getting acquainted with Master. So not quite sure how she's feeling about this hope she's as excited as I am. Be Captain Nortland of the Baleful Punishment. The ship is mostly a floating prison for the 221st. Some armaments but not a strike cruiser or battle barge level of firepower. The Baleful Punishment after all is only a sword class frigate. Spot the Arc Mechanicus in the distance orienting itself. Tell the comms operator to try and open a Vox link to the Arc Mechanicus to establish what's going on. All we know for sure is that we've got an impending Tyranid fleet inbound and I don't think sending some of my armsmen to board it is a very good idea. I could probably use some of my transport ships to act as less effective gunships but that'll make getting the 221st back up take longer once this is over. Grit my teeth in frustration as I watch more and more armsmen get low loaded up and ready for any boarding actions via the ship's security cams. Additionally servitors and prisoners not fit for use in the regiment are readying up the laser batteries for a fight, awaiting for a link to be established. Comms operator sweating nervously at what kind of response we might get. BZ-23. Tech priests say they managed to get the power packs for the majority of the condemned charge up. Sensors detect explorator and sword class frigate preparing for something guess the arch margos found the exit on that loop. Can't see dreadnought on sensors but do detect some xenos dying on the lower levels to something that's not skaterii. Try to relay this to Gamma Mu 07 but not sure if it gets through. Hive layers are tricky like that but maybe it roots through the Skaterii's augments see that delivery is arriving as Esk is getting ready to do something to the bunker something about tanks. Let Yuri know. Maybe he can promote some gunners to drivers or tank commanders and get the condemned on the guns. Maybe some of the condemned were tankers before they got condemned. Who knows try to access hive security cameras but the network is a mess. Only managed to access a few at security strong points rather than real coverage but I can work with this. Sensors are my thing. Ritual of mapping eggs. Keep sending updates on the conditions on the ground to the baleful punishment and the explorator as well as everyone else. Be me. Arch Margo's explorator prime. Receive comms request from one sword class no as a baleful punishment. Put it on screen tech speak with the captain Nortland. Wants to know what is going on. Give him the sensor cords of the approaching orc fleet by Thars 8's furthest moon and inform him of the tyrannid fleet seeping into into the edge of the system. Recommend he prepare in whatever way he sees fit. Be captain Nortland. Request for Vox Link went through. Ask what the situation is. Get told of an orc fleet approaching the furthest moon of the planet as well as where the nids will be sweeping in from. Situation just got worse in terms of decision making. Wish I kept some of the 221st up here to act as expendable breaches consult with some of my officers. Some want to send out armsmen into the hive ships themselves along with enough explosives to cripple the ships. Some want to use our transport vessels on board as gunships get an idea. It's extremely risky. Plan is to use a baleful punishment and a combination of gunships to preform strafing runs with weapons batteries. One of the officers, a much older guy says that the former Captain Ahab once pulled that off when the baleful punishment used to just be part of a battle fleet the plan seems set. Order over the Vox for pilots to get into the transports. 
Weapon usage is authorized this will take great piloting skill once the fleet arrives. Just in case we don't come back I make a call to the commissar. He understands and wishes us luck and to let the emperor take control. Order scanners to scan for when the high fleet emerges. All the while reports from the ground are being sent up to us. Time to let the baleful punishment have her fun once again. Be Captain Crunch the 8th. Or was it 9th? Wait. Wah. Enter the Yumi system. Time to fight. There's only one Yumi ship here. What JPG? That's not gonna be fun. Oh well. A fight's a fight. Mech boy suddenly says the nids are here. There we go. We're in for a proper fight now. Order the fleet to head for the Tyranids instead. Send some ships around to land on the planet too. We need teeth and loot. We're arrgrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
much less successfully fend off a Jenna Steeler patriarch. It lets out a loud grub of noise that bursts the eardrums of most people without auditory augments. Many of the varlets fall on the ground clutching their bleeding ears, while the Skaterii just keep singing prayers in binary. I slowly approach with my hands up to show I mean no harm and see if my servo skull can at least repair his voice box so we may talk. B Marcus. With the Xenos fleeing some of us begin to clap and pray. Of course Johansson is praying the hardest out of all of us. He thinks that the Emperor himself sent us this dread Nautilus as a watchful guardian. Damn that schizophrenia really affects him. I look over to see the Marshal sort of inspecting the damage on the dreadnought. Things battered to high heaven. Rustier than the canteen spoons on the baleful punishment. Our ones anyway. Then the dreadnought lets out a loud foghorn bellow. We all immediately feel ringing in our ears. Johansson meanwhile prays harder. Apparently not even being nearly deaf and will stop his religious tendencies. Simply stare out as the marshal goes towards the dreadnought. Also see the commissar pressing a finger against his bionic eye. Can't make out what he's saying though. Be contempt upon us. One of the human soldiers is approaching me. He has a servo skull with him. It starts fiddling with the speakers. Also tries to interface with my systems. Run diagnostics. Error 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 error. Total systems crash. Rebooting. Error. Cogitation systems fully functional. Error. Ammo at. Error. Capacity. Error. Neural interface. Error. Functional. Error. Sarcophagus error. 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 No errors found. Voice a box. Restored. Try to speak. Mio Geraniae Cluus. B Marcus. I clean out my ears of blood and start helping out some of the others with their bleeding ears problem. Once the problem is somewhat sorted, I look back towards the marshal and the dreadnought. Seems like its vocal systems are back seeing as it just identified one of our forces want to go up and introduce myself but that might be a bad idea. Plus he's in a stance, he'd probably view us with disgust for being criminals. The commissar walks towards me and tells me and 2000 other men to sweep the surrounding area for hostiles whilst the mechanicus sorts out the dreadnought. Confirm that I understand my objective. The commissar then approaches the dreadnought and marshal. He stands to attention and salutes the dreadnought. His one unaugmented eye still fierce as he stares at the dreadnought. I decide to gather up that 2000 force, taking the ones who have recovered from the ear bleeding experience. Leave the rest to defend the area. Begin to march out to sweep the area for any signs of potential cultists in the area kind of wishing I had the naval armsman's shield and shotgun for this objective. Would have made this a hell of a lot more safer for us. Break the 2000 force into two 1000 groups to split up and sweep. Be Captain Crunch 9th. Wait. Wasn't it the 8th? Whatever, having da fight of our lives, the nids are everywhere, da boys are everywhere, da nids are boarding our ships, the boys are boring their giant whale things, explosions are everywhere, so many pretty colors, briefly wonder what that single Yumi ship is doing, message from Lieutenant Dark Teeth, wahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrahrah
the baleful punishments guns hum as they begin to fire out at the Xenos fleets ordered them to fire at either the orcs or the nids. Get on the par system and alert the armsmen on board for potential orc breaches should the green skins decide to target us. All the while I'm glaring out into space from my command desk. We won't let these vile scum dare trespass upon our glorious vessel. BZ-23, monitoring situation in space as best I can while keeping track of the situation on the ground looks like the orcs have found the nids. Cryptman maneuver eggs. Looks like some of the orcs and nids are splitting off and making for the planet but the baleful punishment and explorator are taking care of most of those. Not as fucked as I thought we would be. Relay locations of likely impacts to ground units. Alert the Valhalla AA ask Curie what else to do. Also ask Inquisitor, Redacted, if the Ordo Kronos has any advice that isn't censored not like he's sober enough to be much help but maybe he already did something in the future. Biscuiterii Marshal Gamma Mu07. Watch as my servo skull repairs the dreadnought's voice. As it works I briefly wonder if the marine inside his machine touched. Would explain how his chassis was still functional. But not exactly something a marine would know about. As it works the commissar orders his men to sweep the area for potential hostiles. I send a message for my skaterii to do the same. Miaturani I glutus the dreadnought whispers. It speaks and once more he recognizes the symbol on my chest. My servo skull's auto repair function is enough to restore the voice box and I let out a quick banneric prayer of thanks. But for most of the other stuff we need a forge world to restore it. I start questioning the dreadnought. Who are you? What is the last thing you remember? Do you know where you are? Be me. Scarlet. We manage to get the bunker open and Tiff lands us. We enter. Inside doesn't look like a bunker at all. It looks like someone's mansion. With marble pillars, wallpaper, portraits of past governors, and tables with vases. No sign of guards or alarms yet. Place is pitch black so we rely on our flashlights and stay on guard. Who knows what kind of surprises a man like him has in a place like this. Be inquisitorial agent Leon-esque. 15 seconds were up a bit ago. Tried waiting for friendlies to clear the area but things are going to hell fast. Nids are apparently about to show up. Orcs from nowhere beat them here first. It's always green skins orc. Full stop. Fuck. I've had enough waiting. Was honestly also unsure if this thing was gonna kill us all the launcher is nothing too special but the rigged warhead is another matter firing. Hold down the trigger after target is locked. Warhead fires off to the bunker. A few meters before impact warhead splits apart. A trio of vortex grenades are propelled against our adamantine clad target. Holes in reality blink and rote and rip into the structure. Hope no servants of the dark gods use this to show up. Maybe the heretics would kill each other. Full stop. Fuck. Bunker is wide open now. Pieces missing look cleanly cut. Along with anything on the other side. Almost unreal looking. Set launcher down onto the floor of the Valkyrie. Relay for us to get brought in. Motion the Fallinids it's time to go as I unharness myself from the Valkyrie and drop onto the ground. Approach with Scarlet and her girls. Look inside. What a mansion. Bring shotgun to bear. Flick on light at the end of it. Signal to move in. This is where the fun begins pick. Be Captain Crunch the 8th. Or whatever number it's supposed to be. Fighting Darnids. Having the best warrior arg of my life. The crew are having the best warrior arg of their lives. The Yumis are also having a good fight. Pretty nice of them to help out actually. Might pop over to say thanks once this fight is done. Darmek boys are informing me that our fleet is getting smaller. But so is theirs. Also we're both headed for a crash course on the moon. Deer's gonna be a grand warag. Warag. Be plasma gun. Reza pattern. Designation hot dog. Master and I start entering the bunker with allies. Which the inquisitorial agent so kindly opened up. No resistance just yet. Damn traitors won't even be nice enough to let me kill them now. Start splitting into groups to clear the rooms. Master and I come up to a room alongside some Fallinids that seems pretty reinforced no one has breaching charges. Start glowing a bit to give Master a hint. 
Master Key Plasma. Master gets the idea and starts charging me up for a powerful shot. Can already hear the traitor screaming now. B for Linnet Mer Captain Scarlet. Go down a maze of overly designed fancy corridors. If this was the kind of money he and his family threw away on a bunker. No wonder he was able to get so many regiments here. A few are of my mercs are distracted by some of the shinier things and pocket them. Come across treasuries, hollow rooms, food storage, master bedrooms, kitchens, and a room the Ordo Hereticus would probably be very interesting in investigating. But we just close the door and agree to never mention it again. After a while come up on pick related. At the top of the stairs is a massive sliding double door with a needle at the top counting up from a lower level. This is it Vox. Turn off safeties and aim hot shots right at the counting down door. As soon as those doors open. Whatever's on the other side will be full of so much LAS it'll resemble glass. Be inquisitorial agent Leon-esque. Watch as the Fulinids and the sister with a very spirited plasma gun loot and clear this bastion of the enemy room by room. Maybe this is how the boss feels. Scouring heretical hideouts. Allies of all walks of life in tow better find the governor's corpse or my boss friend's daughter or else I am so gonna get a bolt round to the head. Follow Scarlet. See what she has found. Looks like a lift coming up. Join the lineup. Make sure shotgun is ready again. Remember, they have a VIP we need alive. The Mechanicus robot is asking me questions. Now that I'm no longer slaughtering foul Xenos I'm starting to feel tired again do my best to answer and stay awake. Seventh. Legion. Teen Thuawasa and Yeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
the gangers will be part of the 221st whilst the women and children will be kept safe. Copy that sir. Begin leading the civilians out of the area back to the commissar. Wonder how the other squad is doing with their sweeping operation. Biscateri I Marshal Gamma Mu 07. The dreadnought says he's 10,000 years old. This is amazing. That means he was around when the Omnishia walked the galaxy in the mortal form. Perhaps he even got to meet him. Before I can ask follow up questions the dreadnought suddenly falls onto its back with a loud thud that shakes the caver. No 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 panic. Open up a panel to see what I can repair. Damn it Jim I'm a marshal not a tech priest audiophile. Quickly go through my memories of the data smith repairing castellants. Idea did an inspiration. Call two scateri I over. Tell them my plan. They agree. Shoot them both in the head with my radium serpenta. Sacrifices must be made in the quest for knowledge faith start cannibalizing parts from them for the dreadnought. Apethus walks through the switch. Be captain Nortland. The circle around and fire continuously tactic seems to be working. The 25 attack crafts defending the ship from boarding parties extremely well a few are getting picked off however. The 25 will reduce over time. We aren't losing as many as the orcs and nids however. Probably because the orcs are letting the nids board them to engage and scraps get reports from the 75 attack craft that they've taken down a large majority of the xenos drop vessels descending towards the planet but some have breached into the atmosphere order them to return to the baleful punishment and assist the others. Bolstering my forces further. Void shields holding steady. Laser batteries continuously firing. I get informed that the orcs are trying to lead us towards a moon to crash. Order the crew to keep the circle maneuver but make it get tighter so we avoid the moon we've still got another job after this and I'm not losing this vessel to a moon. Be dreadnought Connors. Feeling so tired. Systems crash. Feel a dull thud in the back of my head. Oh. That hasn't happened before. Feel some faint pricks all over my body. I begin to faintly think in this strange state. 10,000 years old. What am I? I have lain in this tomb for 10 millennia. In this living death from which there is no rest but forgetful oblivion. So many lifetimes of men have passed me by. How much has the galaxy changed? What remains of the Sons of Dawn? What has been done with the Emperor's glorious Imperium? I feel the corrosion of the years eating at me. 10,000 years and I know nothing. Attention. Systems rebooting. You are a very lucky dreadnought oh. Thank you. Who said that? Be seer do win of Iandam. Not a far seer. Just a regular seer. Unfortunately. Leading ranger team win too. All six of us. We've got me. Lim Allen. Aurelia. Lowering. Hydran T and Greg. So. Story goes that the pharaoh gets a vision. As they do. Says that our survival hinges on the recovery of an item and it's vitally important blah blah blah. Sort of fell asleep during the lecture but the short is. There's a hard drive we need to swipe from this Imperials bunker. Why do the Imperials have to keep all their information on vellum and hard disks instead of the cloud like everyone else? Should have just been a quick in and out. 5 minute adventure. Much longer than that later. We're lost in this bunker's maze. Not only that, but the planet is in the midst of a full Genestealer rebellion and orc attack. Damn nids, we just can't get enough of them over here so, naturally, we just avoided the fighting and snuck in. The Imperials outside still look to be trying to get in when we found event great good. Less interference down here is better. Place is dark, power must have failed. No matter, we have other ways of seeing in the dark. Now, where in the warp is this server room and all this underground opulence? Wait, are those torch beams? Voices, quick, hide. Are they Imperials breaching the bunker or someone belonging to the governor? Fates get bad reception down here, it seems. Just let them go past, then we keep looking. Rather not get into another fi fight today. Be plasma gun, breaching. Clearing, and killing is going well. Meet minimal resistance. But that's fine with me since master and I get a kill each time traveling to another room. 
when suddenly I feel like we're being watched. Also feel a sudden anger taking over me. Vent a bit in frustration, but control myself so I don't harm master. One of the felinids was too close again, but this time complained to my master to keep me under control. Say that to my face and not to my master and see what happens Ange Red Spirit. I haven't been this angry since that one elder tried to kill my previous master and his squad back in the Chimera on that desert world. Gets a little sad remembering my previous master which cancels out some of my anger. Don't think on it any further, perhaps that fall from earlier messed something up a little and it just flared up. Doubt that the elder are behind this, let alone here. Hopefully we can get some time later for the Engan Seer to teach master more about my maintenance. Be Hydra Operator Mikhail. Skies are mostly clear. Holding this area to keep the path to the bunker clear. Tearing through the occasional squad of hostile infantry with auto cannons BRRRT vodka. Tanks send a light vehicle or two right to the warp. Waiting for further orders from Yuri but we're probably holding here for a while not sure why command doesn't find us an officer between deployments but I'm not complaining. Yuri doesn't make us do suicidal charges into hostile gun lines. We haven't had any new super heavies in a while though. Idly wonder what the postman has while turning some stealers and traitors into pasty Colonel Farragut of the Imperial Post. We've unloaded almost everything. Now we have a battalion's worth of tanks just sitting around. The secret cargo still needs to be unloaded. Nobody, not one person has shown up to investigate what's going on. Is nobody seriously interested in free tanks in the midst of a Jenna Steeler uprising? The situation is growing more ridiculous by the minute. Pilot informs me that there's now a Hive fleet and Orcs battling it out in orbit. He's picking up a lot of weird signals from the bunker underneath. He really thinks we should be leaving. The post must be delivered. Fuck this JPG. Grab a copy of the paperwork. Order the boys to start painting giant free tank signs everywhere. Wander off towards the fortifications we noticed when landing. There should be someone who can sign off this delivery over there. The first Imperial I find will be taking control of the packages. At gunpoint. If necessary. Be Hydra Operator Mikhail. Postman approaching with a gun in one hand and papers in the other between skirmishes get out of Hydra while we reload. Offer him vodka. Told to sign form. Try to tell him to talk to Sergeant Yuri or maybe Tech Comrade Zeta but he orders me to sign the form and take the tanks so he can offload the other thing. Notice Colonel Insignia and shaking pistol hand. Sign form quick as escaping Valhalla Nice Weasel. Ask what he means about tanks. And what is the other thing? Captain Crunch 6. Hot. Wire egg. Da fight's going well. Both us and the Nids fleets are half the size as we started. Deer's boys all inside their space monsters. Deer's Nids all inside our ships. The only way this fight could be better is if there were more of them. The Humies are doing okay with their teensy thing. But they keep hitting our ships every now and then. Need to talk to them about that once we're done. Darmek boys inform me we're all on a collision course with the moon. Grin a brutally cunning grin. Think up a cunningly brutal plan. Boys, prepare to turn around and accelerate. Be Captain Nortland. Fleets are decreasing in size. I'm slowly losing aircraft. We don't stop circling around. Alarms start ringing. The Orcs flagship turns around and begins to accelerate. Immediately order the Baleful Punishments to stop the current maneuver and to fall back from whatever the hell the Orcs are planning. I think they are still trying to get us to crash the Baleful Punishment into the moon can't allow that. If I do that planet is stuck with 10,000 criminals in its populace that might get some ideas to run into the under fives. Have to hold the laser batteries from now whilst we prepare the evasive maneuver begin to pull it off. Pray to the Emperor that the Orcs weren't planning on driving right into us and going for the main hive ship. Be Luna Base anti-lander defense. Orcs approaching. Nids there too. Imperial ship whittling them away. Finally, some action. Scramble everything. It's only a few missile stations and a couple hydras but still here we go loud hailer. The Orcs turn around. 
Cry, B for Linnid Mercenary 9 MC Fluffy, currently exploring looting the governor's richly decorated bunker, everything is full of sculptures, paintings, and gold plating, too bad most of it is too big to discreetly loot, still, lots of small stuff to grab though, loose coins, a gold plated quill, gold monocle, gold regicide piece, gold dice, gold cutlery, not to mention some small items from that disturbing orgy room. These stupid leotards have no pockets, but I managed to slip a number of things into my boots, down my top, and into empty pockets on my combat webbing. End up lagging behind the main assault party due to excessive looting, but luckily there isn't too many Genestealer cultists down here, and most of them are poorly equipped and are foolishly focusing their efforts to stall the assault party by attacking them head on. Realize I am getting a bit far from the main group though and cut through a poorly maintained service corridor to catch up. Weird, it almost smells like Elder down here. B. Sir Delwyn. That's a plasma gun. That's a very threatening looking plasma gun. Crude as they are, being in an enclosed space with a human plasma cannon would be very bad for all involved and we're outnumbered anyway. Has he seen us? I'm not sure. He's looking at you Lewis. Fortunately, he doesn't investigate and moves on. Big sigh of relief. Our cover is intact, about to step back out when more footsteps, this time from the other way, Irelia starts recanting a few bars over comms from what I assume to be some old human song, she gets to singing something about if he hears, he'll knock all day before being psychically shushed 5 times, grab them on my mark, 1, 2, 3, a couple of seconds later, the hallway is empty and we have one struggling monkey by the feel of it, they're a female, not in the raggedy dress of cultists, in possession of a fluffy tail and ears. Full stop. Wait, what? Last I remember, humans weren't supposed to have fluffy ears and tails. Put aside the plans to snap their neck for the moment. Manhandling them like this actually feels a little inappropriate. Everyone starts bickering about what to do with them. Cut to out you five. We're still in enemy territory with a mission to do. Isha sakes. This is why you all washed up down here in wind. No. I guarantee. You may not pet their ears. You don't know where that thing's been. Wait. Who was supposed to be keeping an eye on the human? What do you mean? Me. During the fighting. A large tyrannid bio ship is destroyed. And its lifeless body crashes onto the moon. It hits the ground hard, and in doing so breaks open an underground vault, which causes it to send its signal. B for Linnid Mercenary 9 MC Fluffy, minding my own business running through the service tunnel to catch up with my group. Then yoink get grabbed by several beings worth of hands and pulled into a small, lightless side room. Try biting the one over my mouth, but it has got some weird tasting armor as I squirm around. I catch glimpses of figures standing around me elder. I am definitely outclassed, but at least it is not Jenna Steelers or Druckery. Hands continue to poke and grab me for a bit, almost like they have never encountered a felinid before and weren't sure if any of my body parts are fake. Humans do this too. The second the elder seem to lose interest in me, I dive into an open vent and squirm my way into the next room. Fun facts about felinids. We are quick acrobatic, can see in the dark, and can fit into really tight places. Still surprised I got away with it though. Those elder must have been hopelessly incompetent or impossibly overconfident. Or maybe letting me escape is part of their plan. No point in overthinking it though. I should get back to the main group as soon as possible to warn them about the elder. Damn Vox B doesn't seem to work in this room. Should I try to squirm my way through another vent? Or risk going out into the service corridor decisions? Decisions. Be Arch Margo's Explorator Prime. Finally finish ritual to fire the main cannon into the orc flagship only to see it's about to crash into the moon. Also the Tyranids and orcs have mostly taken care of each other. Just then a Necron fleet warps in. Baleful punishment pulls back it did an admirable job but only so much a sword class can do. Deploy drop keeps. 
Skateri reinforcements, and Skateri flyers and vehicles to Thars 8 before disengaging from the planet's gravity well. Fire main cannon at the Necron flagship. A beam of pure white holy energy cuts through the void. B Colonel Farragut, searching for someone, anyone, to sign off on the delivery. There's a Hydra operator taking a break over there. Walk over to him. He offers me vodka. Shove the papers in his face and tell him to sign. Sign the fucking paper. He takes it and signs. Give him the receipt. You are hereby the responsible owner of delivery order 93713A. All liability is transferred from Imperial Administratum Post to you. Have a good day. He asks what the delivery is. A bunch of tanks. Lemon Russes. Banner Blades. The usual. Crew not included. And something marked top secret. It's all yours now. Good day. Wander off back to the ship to make sure everything's been unloaded and we can get out of here. The post has been delivered. Be Hydra Operator Mick Hale. Colonel Postman is very frustrated and talks so fast he leaves without even taking any vodka but I think I just got promoted to Bannerblade Driver. Ride Hydra to Crater as fast as possible. Bannerblades. Russes. Something top secret. Blessed are we who receive the bounty of the Emperor Litany. Climb into Bannerblade immediately. My loader from Hydra follows me. By Holy Throne I have never seen such a tank. I take command. He takes targeting. Vox Sergeant Yuri and Tech Comrade Zeta. Explain situation. Super heavies at last. We are full regiment again. Man beats Esgif. But we need more gunners. Can promote our boys to drivers but there are too many turrets to man. Also I am responsible for delivery 93713A for some reason. Top secret box. Sure it's not as important as banner blades. Vox Penal Commissar and Marcus. Ask them politely to send us anybody spare who can work as loader or sponsor gunner, or we can come to them, is no bother. Hear someone shouting about Necron ship on the Vox. Realize it is from space. Bannerblade has great reception. Vox Kiernel Postman as well. Warn him about Necron ship is least I can do. A few of tankers from squadron are opening up top secret crate. Keep main gun pointed at it just in case. Be me. The Linead Merc Captain Scarlet. Remember, they have a VIP we need alive. Said the agent. Tell squad to aim high and wide to avoid the princess. Wonder where Nine MC Fluffy is. Probably looting. Door opens and reveals a ball of a man clutching a young noble girl. 910 body but 710 face. Light em up girls we all open fire on the heretic governor doing our best to avoid hitting the girl. Suddenly hear a rumbling clunking noise above my head. Look up and something covered in dust falls from the vent above me onto me. Once I open my eyes I'm on my back staring at what is unmistakably 9 MC Fluffy's oversized ass. B plasma gun. Master. Myself. And our allies are making progress. Apparently, our objective doesn't involve complete annihilation. Trying to get some princess or something. As long as master and I get to purge traitors, I'm fine with it. Here's some orders from one of the felinids. Saying to aim high. Master might have to just outright miss and let the grazing heat to the work if this princess is serving as a meat shield. Master and squad prepare to make another entrance. Here someone identify the princess and some fat guy. We all gun down the fat guy. Leaving his corpse a set of legs with some lower abdomen intact. Based on the sound of his remains hitting the ground. I've been this business a long time relic. Shortly after, immediately something breaching through a vent above us. Hear a screech that could only come from our felinid allies. As the vent grate pops open and is followed by a thud. Wait. Not one. But two thuds. The second thud did not make a screech. But a disgustingly familiar groan. An unmistakable aura I am all too acquainted with. Instinctively begin readying a shot before master can pull the trigger. Be Marcus. Just return to the main HQ to drop off the rescued women and children. Immediately press the gangers into service. There'll be a fine part of the 221st. Receive a vox from one of the Hydra operators. He wants some of my fellow condemned promoted to gunners. Inform him that he probably doesn't actually want convicted criminals inside such blessed machines.
sense. But hey we do technically follow the orders of people above us seeing as our rank is lower than private. Seeing as there's 7005 condemned at the base originally 6000 and then we turned. I vox the commissar to relay the message. He's silent for a bit before ordering that 4000 men are to join up with Mikhail and the tanks. That leaves 6000 infantry men when the remaining 1000 down by the commissar get back. People are picked at random to go to the tanks. I stay behind to be an infantry man. The 4000 newly promoted force begins to move towards Mikhail's location Vox to him that they are on their way to his location. I decide to take 1000 men back out to the commissar's location leaving 2000 men to defend the base. Be newly promoted banner blade commander Mikhail. Receive many infantry from base for guns plus some Valhallans for drivers and commanders still some infantry left over to act as support. Condemned are very surprised to be allowed on the tanks. But we need men. Takes a while but we get everybody mounted up. Leave some tanks to open top secret crate. Guard crater. Rest of us ride out to enemy hotspots, moving to support our allies where they are engaged then moving on immediately before enemy can swarm tanks. Keeping eye out for Necrons. Be Captain Nortland. The Ark Mechanicus finally finishes its rituals. Watch as the main gun fires out towards the Necron flagship. It's a sight to behold as we pull out from the engagement. The white light of the Omnishia shall purge the fleet. See the crew beginning to pray. I join in with the prayers. Attack craft have regrouped near us. Tell them to hold steady until the Ark Mechanicus finishes its firing sequence begin scanning to see how much of the Necron fleet is left for us to try and deal with the Xenos scum will be punished under our baleful gazes. Be me, head scribe on Imperial Depot world, hiding under my table. There are several custodes standing outside my door. Hope they're not here for my loyal servo skull. My assistant is trying to guide them away. Poke my head up a few minutes later. They're gone. Poke my head out the door. My assistant still has his head attached. Ask what they wanted. Oh they wanted to know where you sent that top secret cargo a few weeks ago that's all. Yep. Walk to my drinks cabinet and pop out a bottle of the old M40. Think I'll try downing the whole bottle. Be Sir Delwyn. Isha's tits. I'm surrounded by Monkey. See and hear the clatter of the vent grate. They're getting away. Soon the entire Imperium will know we're here. Someone's going to need to go after them before they raise the alarm. No. Arachnophobia isn't an excuse to dive in after them. Fine. We'll draw straws. How does that sound? Everyone take one. Wait. Hold up. That's my fake set for winning bets. Right? We'll use these bits of cut wire here. Full stop. It had to be me. Didn't it? My transponders on the combat. Follow in the corridors after me they can't be far. Surely. Them being so far ahead must surely be from their cat physiology and not my fault still. They've left a big trail in the dust on the duct floors. I hear them up ahead. I must be gaining somehow. Having well trained reflexes and live build means we must be a match for the cat human bonkert. There. I see them. Hey. I wonder if this. Something snaps above and the whole vent duct tilts down towards the grate at the end. Dart vent will support both our weights. The cat human goes flying out of the end and lands on top of someone. Damn these smooth metal walls. Slide right out of the end as well and land on top of both of them. Furry appendages confirms that this is indeed the cat human and seemingly another of them look around. There's Imperials everywhere having a gunfight. A plasma gun is thrust in my face. Wait a minute. How did this happen? We're smarter than this. Surreptitiously check the personal hello map. Now would be a good time. U5. Be overlord Nebneru the mental bastion. Fleet begins enganging the Tyranid and Orc ships closest to us. The will of the mighty has now gotten close enough to the moon. Begin sending down ground forces to secure a position for me. I, of course, will personally lead the expedition to the artifact vault. While waiting for the all clear, I look out towards the human ships. All I see is blinding light racing towards us. So that's what my cryptic was yelling at me about. Suddenly everything goes white. The will of the mighty has taken major damage. 
and some of the ships nearby have been completely destroyed. Now it's amateur off pride tomb ship give the order to begin firing at the arc mechanicus lighting arcs and particle whips shoot their energy across the blackness of space. B lunar base anti lander defense commander, dead midship crashed almost on top of us a few minutes ago. Now there's fucking necrons. B r r r r r r r r r t vox. Everything goes too bright to see. Necron ship took damage from the Mechanicus ship. Keep firing at landers. B Captain Nortland. Necron fleet has taken considerable damage from the Arc Mechanicus. They are starting to fire back. Time to get the baleful punishment back involved. Order attack craft to preform gun runs with us. Tell the sergeant at arms to ready armsmen for boarding actions. At first I was hesitant but now we have to do this. He announces to the armsmen to get ready to board the Necron ship. Gun runs from the attack craft begin against the crippled fleet as the baleful punishment begins to speed towards the Necron fleet. Laser batteries start opening fire as I glare at the flagship. You'll be punished for even daring to exist Xeno scum. The baleful punishment weaves through the fire as I feel my grip on my sword get tighter pray to the emperor to guide my armsman's shots and to protect them when they board the flagship. They are going to need it. Be newly promoted banner blade commander Mikhail. Tearing through the occasional Jenna Steeler and Orc but Necron starting to land I find a path using parade route. Little else will admit glorious banner blades. Direct tanks in circuit around base and crater. We blast through several landing sites without stopping. Stationary tank is dead tank. Moving tank is glorious fury of Valhalla. Necrons barely manage to get a fix on us. By the time they see the first line the second and third are firing. By the time they see the second the fourth has run them down. Shiny new Rust tanks include some executioners while others have plasma spans and banner blades are more than holding their own. Ready to unleash 11 barrels of El Wav. Banner blades tactical display shows runes. The Adeptus Custodes wants to know your location. By Holy Throne. More reinforcements. To think. This was to be a routine parade deployment. Send them location. How not a thought of fighting alongside such legendary figure note the crater as Imperial held LZ but might be a bit hot with hostile air. Going up hive ram. Call for fire reflexively at something in sky. Banner blade engine roars its triumph as Necron craft spins into building. Ha. Might have to reuse tactic. Be naval breacher Jermak Stockerson. Aboard Salakin. Readying to breach a Necron ship. Allegedly the Mechanicus have it distracted or damaged or something and we can enter through where something used to be. Clearly a suicide mission but I wasn't born into the navy to live forever. Recite litany of firepower over my Meltigan as we launch. Recite swears as we make it into the ship. Hostiles aren't on us immediately but it's sure to be quick. Start looking for something important to melt. And fast. See Necron ahead of us. Panic but he. It hasn't seen us. Necron walks into a glowy green thing between some weird metallic bits and disappears. Shield recovers me while I fire Melter at the metallic bits and pray. Be Captain Crunch 7. What is going on with that? The brutally cunning plan is nearly done. The boys have sailed around the entire planet to get behind the Tyranid fleet but Tyranid fleet that is stuck between the planet's moon and a bunch of Necrons didn't really expect the Robo Men. But it means they get to enjoy our fight too while crashing this fleet with no survivors JPG. Ramming speed. Ram everyone into the moon. B for Linid Mercenary 9 MC Fluffy. Decide to crawl through the vent. Even though it is much longer than expected and seems to go under. Rather than into the room I am trying to get to. This will delay any warning to the main group. But at least will be the last thing the elder expect. Vent is old and frail and smells like asbestos. I think I am in the ceiling of the level below now suddenly the vent crumbles and I am falling into a firefly. Shiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiii
one of the elder must have followed me through the vent and fallen somehow. Good thing elder are featherweights otherwise she would have broken my spine. Shake the elder off and leap with all four limbs to get clear of the inevitable flood of firepower no doubt about to hit the elder. Scarlet will come to a similar conclusion and get clear herself. Scarlet's band may frown on friendly fire. But most other Imperials would consider a dozen of their own dead for a single Elder to be more than a fair trade. Be Captain Nortland. Successfully drop off Navy breaches into the main Necron flagship. I order the baleful punishments to pull out now that we've got men in there. Vox operator tells the men inside that we'll be coming back for them once we secure space fully. See the orcs flying back. They intend to ram us into the moon. Fuck no I'm not letting that happen. Order all attack craft and laser batteries to fire upon the orc ship. Can't let it crash onto the planet otherwise the Ark Mechanicus will have just had its Skaterii and other valuable troops eliminated upon landing on the moon. The Baleful Punishment's laser batteries fire out in glee at its hated foes as I order for more firepower to cripple the orcs. Can't send a breaching team on it because of its current plan and I already have breaching teams dealing with the Necrons. We'll just have to keep firing until the Orc flagship cannot move fast enough to where it can cause a crash into the moon. Or until our laser batteries run out of juice. For the Emperor, let the scum be purged. B Breacher Jermak Stockerson. Melting the glowing thing worked but the Necrons are not happy about it fending off Necrons with Melter while Shieldbra struggles to keep shield up Demo is planting charges as we receive word that the Baleful is swinging about Voxel teams to plant charges on anything important and clear out. If the Emperor wills it we'll do enough damage to take it down or open her up for a kill should Shieldbra final goes down to a swarm of what look like metal spiders. Still screaming as he falls. Demo looks half his leg to some kind of bastard green laser as he runs back to me grant shield for the emperor's peace and drag screaming Demo back to the Salakin as the rest of us keep firing. Other squad barely makes it. Necrons try to follow us in but pilot fires the hull breaching Meltus as we detach there's a lot of us detaching. But no idea if it'll be fast enough. First orc ship approaches. Not moving entirely straight, it's damaged. Halfway dead from the Baleful Punishment's lasers. It's between us and the Baleful Punishment. It's drifting into position for an engine kill. Emperor help me. At least it's not the flagship. Make ready for another breach. Looted escort class vessel of indeterminate model but the gun decks should be in the usual place. Planted explosives on Necron ship go off behind us. Not sure of the results. Not my problem right now. Hope everyone made it off or at least out of range of their bombs. Combine short squads. I'm in charge again somehow. Recite the litany of accuracy over Meltagon. Charge immediately on breach. Right into the gun deck. Melt of whoosh. We took their loaders by surprise but keeping the macro cannons offline will take more than a lucky breach. One of the newer breaches is nervous. What can two squads do against an entire ship? If it comes to it, we detonate as many macro cannon rounds as we can see. Armsman, be Sergeant Yuri. Wake up from hangover. After all the commanders, tech priests, and commissars started to argue with each other over who's really in charge, who goes where, when to deploy who, who goes on the front lines I decided to hang out by the bar for a bit and get sloshed. From what I've picked up, nids have started to make planet fall. Arc Mechanicus deployed Skaterii reinforcements and knights into the wasteland. Orcs and Necrons have arrived but are mostly being held at bay in space. Something about pushing the moon. There's a dreadnought somewhere in the underhive talking to some Skaterii and penal legionaries. Mikhail is now a banner blade driver and has seemingly taken command in my absence. Elder are here. And the governor is finally dead. Be me. Arch Margos Explorator Prime. Beam is doing considerable damage to the Necron flagship but the other ships have turned their guns on us. On top of that, the Greenskins have enacted a plan to push the moon to the surface. Natonmo Arch Defender of Knowledge Reorient Arc Mechanicus. The constantly firing beam of light sweeps across the veil of darkness, destroying smaller ships slicing bigger ones. Some hive ships even catch on fire in space. Soon it will destroy the orc fleet and slice the moon in half. 
Be brief your medics are a nickname nurse. My job to keep these suicidal bastards alive. Finally finished patching up demo stum. He'll need an augmetic though. Hate treating necron wounds. Almost out of stims. We make it to the evac. Thank the emperor only for a damage orc vessel to enter our path. Thing is barely a threat. Has no control. And likely dead in the void in a few minutes. Jermak makes us breach this one anyway. Take orcs by surprise. Likely because they're shocked anyone is bothering to board them. What can two squads do against an entire ship? About to say, if we blow on this thing it would probably come apart. But before I can our fearless leader says, if it comes to it, we detonate as many macro cannon rounds as we can see. Armsman. Fasapan. I hate being a navy breacher medic. Be Captain Nortland. Watch as the Necron flagship begins to detonate. Armsmen doing their job with precision is always a good thing to see smile slightly before watching an orc ship we've been firing up getting close to the escaping breachers. The breachers decide to breach it. Not sure why exactly seeing as it's crippled but hey it'll make it easier for us to pick them up move the baleful punishment into position. All the while the Ark Mechanicus is firing its white beams of light into the other Necron vessels. The firing sequence catching the nids and orcs in the crossfire. Pray that the breaches work quickly so we can bail out of the firing sequence. Laser batteries stop firing so attack craft pilots can register things easier. The blinding white light doesn't need to mix with laser fire coming from us. BZ-23. Sergeant Yuri finally comes around. Everyone is arguing over who's in charge of what. Yuri makes it over to the bar again. Summarizes the situation out loud. Tell him he's basically right but also Mikhail mentioned that the custodes messaged a banner blade. Mikhail took temporary command by dint of being the first one into a banner blade because a Colonel Farragut told him to take the delivery. He is just leading a number of the new tanks in a circuit around the hive on parade route with condemned on the guns shooting down any enemies he comes across most of the force are still guarding the base and the crater. Also, there's a banner blade of some description awaiting Yuri specific we need someone to take charge properly. B. Breacher Jermak Stockerson. Nurse looking at me like she did the time she tranked me for being annoyingly drunk and put me in bed with the captain's daughter. Try not to let my panic show. Up, uh, that is a last resort though. Tell everyone look for ammo storage. We all have some of Demo's charges. We can leave them on a timer. Hide them behind one of these rusted panels and the orcs won't notice. We take down a couple more orcs before we reach ammo storage. Bomb planted Vox. Resistance starts to get heavier as we leave. Orcs must have heard there's a fight up here. Orcs behind us as well now. Tell everyone to charge back to the Salakian while I keep firing the melter as quick as I can without it overheating. Be overlord Nebneru the mentalist. Things are not going well. Breaches have boarded our ship and done damage. The humans on the ground now have banner blades attacking us. And of course the orc flagship is attempting to crash into the moon. To a lesser Necron. Such as my cryptic who is asking me what to do. This would be the end but not for me. I've still got a trick from the war in heaven that these fools are not prepared for just like Cathiel Day's time orb. First I tell my cryptic. Be overlord Nebneru the invincible mind. I am somewhere. And I absolutely remember where. Just then get word that my ground forces have secured a position on the moon for me. Oh yes. I was here to get my artifacts back. I take my void scythe and pull out my resurrections orb as I walk towards my teleporter. My cryptic is yelling about something. It's probably not important. As I go through the teleporter, I find surrounded by my forces, a large amount of warriors, with units of immortals and death marks here and there also supported by a dozen lockless heavy destroyers, and enough ghost arcs to transport us all. After checking my location, I learned we are still quite a ways away from the vault command all ghost arcs inside the transports and begin moving towards the vault look up and see a tomb ship being destroyed in a giant green explosion interesting. Some other necron must have brought a tomb ship here and lost it foolishly couldn't be me living metal. B Breacher Jermak Stockerson. Squad is back on the Salakian and I am now running to reach it as well. Orcs on my heels. And bleeding from minor wounds. Massive collision knocks me into 
the craft. Oof Roblox. Almost land on demo. Tell the pilot to go. Apparently the Necron ship went up and some of it collided with the orc escort a few seconds later our charges go off. Hardly seems worth it now. Orc escort weaponry destroyed. We're returning to the baleful punishment. I think most of the other breaching craft are on their way too. Looks like nurse is still angry at me. Pass out. B Ranger Benavi I Lim Allen. Aka GKSPI the Swift. Aka the hapless Corsair. But that isn't important right now. Right now I am helping my old friend Sir Delwyn retrieve an item of moderate importance. Rangers tend not to operate indoors. So I got brought along for my thieving expertise. Which perhaps I exaggerated a bit. But that also isn't important right now. Anyways. We caught a felinid. But the rookies in the group didn't know what is was and got distracted. Allowing it to escape. It managed to squirm its way into one of those crude air exchange ducks the monkey are so fond of and Delwyn decided to try and catch it rather than just shoot it in the rear then the duct gave way. And they both fell amidst a large group of monkey one level down. Not good. Luckily the duck has completely fallen into the room below, allowing me to see clearly through vent opening and the hole in the ceiling. From my location, I can see Delwyn about to be shot with a plasma gun. Not on my watch. Switch to modified Weber. Fire single strand that latches onto Delwyn and yanks her into the air, through the ceiling hole, and back into the room. Stupid monkey stand around not sure where Delwyn went. See. Told you my thieving skills would be useful. Be Captain Nordland. All Xeno's fleets dealt with the only things to worry about outside the planet are straggler ships from the Nids and the Necrons potentially being on the moon. Vox to the Ark Mechanicus that it's just the stragglers left. Order the Baleful Punishments to pull up closer to the breaching ships so that they may return safely and so medics have access to more resources to treat the injured. Order the attack craft to keep going with attack runs on the stragglers. Soon enough we should have the skies cleared of Xeno scum. Should cause less nids to go planet fall than normal when it's a full hive fleet. At least we'll still be able to get to Sevastopol after this. Smug grin on my face as the breaching teams finally return on board. Order menials to help get the wounded to med bays over the PAR system. B Marcus. Finally made it back to the commissar. Seems like he and the marshal are still talking to the dreadnought. Admire the sight of the magnificent thing. More glorious than anything we'll ever do in our lifetime. Commissar turns to look at me and the men I brought along. Orders me to regroup with the other 1000 man group still sweeping their area. I nod my head and begin to take myself and the troops down to the other's location whilst the commissar stays behind with the Skateri I Marshal and Dreadnought. Lasgun's held up the whole time just to be sure we have them ready if any Genestilos emerge from nowhere. Sweeping the area completely. Can't find them. Strange. Order my men to stay close because this is weird. Most of us are underhive scum so we know a thing or two about underhives and how to track people. It's dead silent. Vox to the commissar that we can't find the other 1000 legionaries. That is until someone finds a body. It's Johansson and he's barely alive. Run over to him and can hear him muttering the emperor's prayer under his breath repeatedly over and over again. His finger is pointing at something. I look over and see the other group completely butchered, ripped to pieces by what I can only assume to be more Jenna Steelers. Order everyone to keep their last guns raised and to stand together in a circle. Vox to the commissar our predicament. We begin to hear movement. Be newly promoted banner blade driver Mikhail. Starting to get hang of this. Seeing condemn get encircled in underhive on tactical display is not good. They help us man the super heavies. We must help them. Leave most of tanks on parade route. Bring my banner blade and some rust to nearest path down. A few other rust finding paths down. Have to blast through some destroyed buildings and take a lift designed for cargo 12s even so we can't get that close. Is too narrow. Half of tanks do not even make it down. They must regroup to surface condemned commissar and trooper Marcus on tack display. Mechanicus as well. 
and Space Marine. Trooper Marcus forming men into last stand circle as far as can tell myself and two rust to south of friendlies holding by cargo lift. Three rust to north of friendlies on major down ramp. Four more rust to southwest of friendlies. On smaller ramps blast everything that's not near to friendly sigils on display. Hope it is effective. Can't get good range or clear line of sight. Underhive is no place for super heavy. Is barely place for tank at all. Tack display blinks custodes rune at me again. Arrival imminent. Hold position. Glory. Share location with custodes again. Status starts in need of assistance is white fib. They not mind. I hope. Be Tiberius Galba. Of the God Emperor's most trusted and renowned Adeptus custodes have been sent to this backwater hive world to recover an extremely dangerous artifact, to bring it back to the Dark Cells on Terra. Have been trying to find its location for the past several weeks. Disappeared over three millennia ago. We only got tipped off about it now because it's finally getting delivered. Turn up at Celestis Ive. It doesn't arrive. Investigate the paperwork. The administratum has somehow managed to misplace this extremely important order it somehow got stuck on a depot world for the past 3000 years without breaking containment. Go there. The head scribe is out. His assistant tells me they delivered it to some hive world finally we transit in system. It's experiencing a Jenna Steeler uprising. A hive fleet has arrived. And there's a four way space battle over the moon between the orcs, tyrannids, necrons, and imperial forces seriously JPG. Check the status of the artifact. Status. Delivered. Start to get that sinking feeling. Check who it's been delivered to. Current owner. Hydra Operator Mick Hale. Valhallen 545th Armored. Current location. Underhive. An artifact which needs to be recovered and contained ASAP on Holy Terra is in the hands of a Hydra Operator. Also he's driving a banner blade instead of a Hydra for some reason. What in the Emperor's name is going on? Inform Hydra Operator Mikhail we will be arriving imminently at his position we'll grab him, the artifact, and go. I want no part of this mess. In and out. No complications. As long as he has the artifact and it hasn't been opened, everything will be fine be me. Sergeant Yuri Zeta 23 tells me the custodies are also apparently here as well. Funny how I might meet a custodian before I meet a space marine. Also says there's apparently a banner blade for me. Decide that's as good an excuse as any. Leave the bar base along with anyone else just as bored as me and head for the wasteland surrounding the hive to look for something interesting to fight. Maybe help the Skateri I set up a base or just watch Titians and Knights fight Gargants and Bioticians and whatever else shows up later. Be newly promoted banner blade commander Mikhail. Yuri and tech comrade Zeta on way to crater apparently. Custodes wants to know where the delivery is and if we've opened it. Tell him is in crater but under hive Jenna Steeler infection is threat for being directly underneath and keeping allies tied up. Tell him there are many layers to package and tankers are busy but is almost open he seems annoyed so will wait till he gets here. Keep Yuri appraised of situation also. Sergeant. There is custodes he wants us to keep package closed until he arrives. Is coming to me then to crater. I think. Good luck with Banner Blade. Still can't get a bead on Jenna Steelers properly. Hope Condemned and Skateri are doing okay if Dreadnought wakes they should be fine. Right. Right. Be me. Thousand Sun Sorcerer Xerxes. Jump into system using warp powered by mass death on neighboring world to have you world some Dumbus didn't carry the one while sending the agri world pesticide for the murder beetles. Ship with small rubric squads and cultists. Plus some demon engines. Screeing the cluster fuck as my ship approaches from behind a moon this will be a long day. Be Sergeant Yuri. Bannerblade is an absolute beauty. Hop into the spacious interior and start learning the vox controls. 
Mikhail seems to think I'm headed to the crater of the governor's mansion to pick up some package. Tell him I'm going to the edge of the city to see what is happening and maybe support the Skateri Iron Knights. And also give this banner blade a test run in its intended environment rather than a cramped street. Don't know if Zeta23 is joining me yet. The Atalans and Death Riders are also joining me to the wasteland as they are also sick of all the pointless arguing and just want to ride their mounts for a bit. We use the cogitator to find the fastest route out of the city. B Zeta23. Following Yuri to new banner blade. Truly. It's a glorious machine. Manage sensors. Scan for threats between here and city limits. He wants to get out of the city into a more tanky environment. Provide routes to other Valhallans too. Time to clear the area now that it's mostly secure I guess. Space battle has got him weird. Necrons gave up and appeared on the moon. And now the traitor marines are here. Fuck it. Try to focus on communing with Bannerblade. Linking sensor nets to other Valhallans. The Arch Margos Explorator Prime. Beam of light from main cannon continues its path down and slices the moon the orcs were going to push in half. Can't do nearly as much damage with just half a moon. Beam turns off going into cooldown. Behind the two chunks of moon I see a blue ship. Wonder if it's the Ultramarine or another chapter. Curiously sensors aren't picking up anything but I can physically see the ship. Possibly low power. Try to hail them and see if they respond. B Marcus. We are surrounded by some tyrannids. I only know this because a bunch of the little ripper fuckers just popped out from some vents and have started charging. Order my men to fire away at the fuckers. Lasgun fire rips through them. Still a lot of them however so it's not like we'll be drowning them in Lasgun fire plus they are smaller targets. Hear the sound of a bolt pistol and revved up chain sword. Commissar bursts in using his sword to slash and hack through the swarm. Orders the men to keep firing but to be mindful. He makes his way towards our circle and joins the ranks. Orders us to keep firing and to keep shivs at the ready. We all suddenly hear the sounds of vehicles. The nids seem to roar on confusion. Commissar orders us to keep firing. His bolt pistol fires out. It's a glorious sound that comes from it. Shame I'll never get my hands on a bolt pistol or other bolt weapons. Well unless we have the heavy bolt turret set up on a trench line. Be Captain Nortland. Just watch the moon get cut in half by the Arc Mechanicus. Fucking hell that thing's got some power behind it. Finally the light from the beam dies down. Order the attack craft on standby. Get a vox from one of our attack craft that a blue vessel is in the system. Tell them to stay on standby and to await further orders. Order the menials on the laser batteries to keep them polished up and await the next orders. Not sure what to do about the moon situation seeing as some necrons are down on it. The sight of the tomb ship exploding into a green fireball is still one of the most glorious experiences I've ever seen. To think an Arc Mechanicus and some well trained breaches could take down a tomb ship be Captain Crunch V. Why does I keep forging on me own number? The Humi ship has just fired a beam that cut the moon in two. What in the name of Gork and Bork was that? Why don't we have that kind of Dakka? Wait. Why don't we have that kind of Dakka? Message from the captain to all remaining ships. I want the big gun on that Umi ship on my ship. Captain, we don't have much ships left. Oh. HM. Need to think cunningly. Message to the Umis. Give me that gun or your ship gets it. All boys. Ramming speed on that Humi ship. Hit her from all sides they can't get us all. Be sorcerer lord Xerxes. MFW the moon just got sliced in half. The Cogovers try to hail me. Scheme timed siege. Answer back explaining I've just exited the warp after my navigator died during War of the Beast. Also make up fake chapter name of Crimson Kings. State that I shall sneak around through the debris of the moon to get a perfect landing really just trying to flank him. This should go well. Be plasma gun. Rizza pattern. Designation hot dog. Master pulls my trigger. Allowing me to let loose on the disgusting creature known as an elder. Hear the vaporization and melting of recruit as my pent up rage blasts through the xeno and deep into the floor. But no satisfying sounds of my shot hitting the flesh of an elder. What miss? One of the Falinids yells out that it escaped back into the vents. Feel myself heating up again. 
Master and another Felinid or two are ordered to follow the vile thing into the vents it will not escape my wrath. Our wrath. I should say, as Master seems pretty enraged as well, the Linids boost Master and me up into the vent for us to take point. Feel the vibrations of the vents as the Xenos try to escape us. Master crawls through, though not without complaint. The Felinid behind her keeps trying to grab her rear to push her forward, continuing forward and now the Felinids are complaining about the vents heating up oops heat build up. Fortunately, Master seems unfazed by this, probably due to her armor. Here's something in the distance. One of the Xenos are starting to complain about the heat. At least we know they're still in the vents. Master continues following the sound, leading us to an intersection. Start cooling down a bit as she is trying to weigh her options. Feel myself becoming angry as she is pointing me down one of the paths. Master decides to go down that one. It apparently pointed me out on its own. So maybe it can find these Xenos. Think Master might be crazy as we begin going down the path. Can hear faint voices in the distance. Realize Master might not be crazy. Slowly but surely heat up in anticipation. Be newly promoted Bannerblade Commander Mikhail. Gen Stealers charging at us as well as condemned now. Must be desperate. Good if we survive. Bad if we do not. Firing all barrels as fast as possible. Where is Custodes? Could use help. Sergeant Yuri is moving out of city. With most of tanks and other regiment. Tell tanks and underhive be ready to fall back. But hold as long as possible. Give condemned a chance. Be for Linnet Merc Captain Scarlet. 9MC Fluffy gets off me but there's still an elder twink lying on by belly. Pull out combat knife from thigh holster and press it to his neck. About to start interrogation when when suddenly a net drops out of the broken duct and scoops him away. Fucking Knifir's dwarf order pursuit for two of our skinniest and smallest mercs. Sister with the plasma gun also insists she follows. Her power armor gets her stuck halfway in the hole with her butt sticking out forcing the others to push Sai. Going to investigate the knife war's involvement in this mess. But first check on the state of the princess and inquisitorial agent. B Marcus. The tanks burst through to help us out. Nids charging for the tanks. They never stood a chance against all those barrels. Commissar orders us to move forward seeing as the swarm is dying down significantly tells us to keep firing as we move. Lasgan bolts fire out in unison order to do so by the bolt pistol. Soon enough the ripper swarms are dealt with. Johansson during the entire thing is still muttering prayers to the emperor as he bleeds his wounds are too plentiful for the medics to deal with. Commissar grants him the emperor's peace. Thought I could see a smile of content on Johansson's face as his hand opens up to reveal a rosary with the aquila on it. Commissar glares down at the body before ordering us to start moving. We've lost 1000 men today. In total, our force is 9000. Commissar will definitely want the condemned back from the tanks after this. For now he orders us to move back to base. We are just going to leave the Mechanicus and the Dreadnought behind for now. Once we get back our next orders will be to march to the wastelands to meet the Nid forces alongside the armor. Be Captain Nortland. Watch the new vessel beginning its flight pattern. Get the Vox operator to try and open comms with them to inform them about the orcs well that's what would have happened but the orc is screaming at us to hand over the Ark Mechanicus weapons. He's also beginning to try and ram it. Order all attack craft to target the orc ships. Order armsmen to load back up into breaching ships. The baleful punishments laser batteries awaken to life once more as I give the order to open fire. We aren't letting those filthy greenskins get their hands on one of the Omnishia's glorious vessels. Hopefully this will be enough to get rid of these fuckers. The Mechanicus would be infuriated with us if we allowed the orcs to ram their Ark Mechanicus and would more than likely turn all of us into servitors. Be Sir Delwyn. Be sweating profusely. Look expectantly at the door for the squad to arrive. Instead get abruptly yanked back up into the vent as the floor disappears in a cloud of debris look around to see the very welcome face of Limalin. Me and her go way back to our Corsair days together. If there was someone in the team I could count on, it's her. I reintegrated into the craft world and its paths better afterwards. But she was quite content staying as a ranger. Her sticky fingers have come in handy more times than I can count since. 
be broken out of my memories by the sounds of shouting down below. A couple of cat humans and the furious looking battle sister with the plasma gun are preparing to boost each other into the vent. This is our cue to move out. As quickly as possible, the thick accumulated dust and dirt cakes everything in the frantic scramble to stay ahead of them. Hair keeps falling into my eyes. I need to get that cut next time we're back on the craft world it keeps making people think I'm a woman. Damn it. I can feel the heat of the sister's plasma gun reflecting off shiny patches in the walls around corners. Ouch. Even that makes my ass hot. It must be baking those cat humans. Lim Allen's in front is hot with or without it though at least. Come on Delwyn. Focus. Try to contact the rest of the team. Get only silence. Worry Webway. Retracing the scuff marks in the dust through the maze back to the corridor. There are the other four. Not having moved at all with their helmets off. Smoking and dealing some cards atop an old crate. Too much in shock to even yell at them. Still, I think we lost them. I can't hear anyone for now. Alright. We need to move. Finish and get out of here before we're swarmed by Imperials with some grumbling the others pack up and put their things back on. Thankfully, I don't have to entrust my life to these shitbirds. There's a faint clattering that can only be produced by power armor in event. They don't give up, do they? Finally arrive on this dump of a planet. The moon has been cut in two and the orcs are going crazy. Extraction is going to be a nightmare. But once we get the package everything will be fine. Head over to Hydra Operator in a banner blade Mikhail's position. Have to fight through hordes of Jenna Steelers and Tyranids just to get to him easily slaughtered. None can stand against the Emperor's noble custodes. He's with a large groups of tanks and infantry. What idiot deploys tanks in a hive? No matter. Demand he hand over the package and come with us. He tells he us doesn't have it. He tells us that it's in the crater of the governor's palace. He tells us his men have been trying to open it. And they're nearly done internal screaming JPG. God Emperor save us. Will anything go right on this mission? Be me. Arch Margos Explorator Prime. Get hail from Blue Vessel. Says they are the Crimson Kings. Quick data net search shows nothing. But they are probably just one of Gilliman Call's new chapters that hasn't done a whole lot yet. For some reason they don't want to show their faces. Get another hail. It's the Orc Captain. Grown Cogitator. Give me that gun or your ship gets it. These savages want my main cannon. Over my dad body data hoarder. Our main cannon may be recharging. But we still have other weapons. Fire broadsides at approaching orc craft. Fire turrets. Launch Skaterii fighters. And Skaterii boarding craft. Tell Skaterii to prepare to repel boarders. The void around us becomes a fireworks display of death to anyone that dares approach. Be newly promoted Bannerblade Commander Mikhail. Condemned are escaping under hive. Killing last of the stealers. Custodes arrives. He slaughters many stealers on way. By golden throne. He is like termite through fresh snow. Salute him and report. He wants package of course. Seems annoyed is not here. Wants me to come with. Well, I guess I am legal owner by order of Colonel Postman but surely Custodes are tracks. Decide not to bother him with question. No worries. Lord Custodes we just take the tanks up cargo lift and as 2.5 clomb back to crater. Easy like walk to shop. Other Russes move out with condemned to meet Yuri. Some must reverse up hive ramps a good distance. Take my banner blade and supporting Russes. Provide escort for custodes to package display what 545th heraldry we have is proud duty. Keep Yuri updated of course. Going up cargo lift. Not long before we're back to crater. Only a skeleton crew of tanks here keeping it secure for package and rescue mission. Most have gone to ride up with Yuri. Be Captain Crunch Ikes. These numbers are confusing. The idiot Humi is refusing to hand over his gun. All that's left of me fleet is boarding the Humi ship. It's a lot tougher than I thought. A fight's good fun, and more Daka is even better. But if you don't get the Daka then that ain't worth it. What to do JPG? Captain Cap. Ha, I thought I crumped that jit. 
Captain Darmek boys have found more Dakalots more what? Where? On the moon the humies cut in half it's full of necron stuff huh? Please second wago please second wago please second wago please second wago crump him. Hopefully for good this time. Half Darfleet will loot the Humi's Daka. The other half comes with me to loot the Necron Daka. Be overlord Nebnuru the smart. Get to the vault's location without much issue. Turns out heavy destroyers are a good solution to random groups of guardsmen, orcs, and tyrannids. Simple solutions for simple problems exterminator. Suddenly feel the ground shaking. See a large beam of light cutting the moon in half. After the job is done. I check the location of the vault. We are on the same side as it. Overlord Nebnuru the wise guy wins again. Arrive at the vault's location shortly after. It seems all the explosions happening has unearthed the black metallic vault. It is also surrounded by a small number of orcs messing with the small arms kept on the first floor of the vault. If only those fools knew what was on the floors below. Because I absolutely do. After my warriors depart their transports. They are disposed of swiftly. I enter in through the door of the vault. As I do so, I am alerted to more orcs heading to our position. Inform my forces to hold their ground. While I get inside, there is probably, no, definitely some kind of super weapon down here that will win us the battle. Why else would I have come here? I approach the elevator that leads to the deeper parts of the vault. A hologram appears before me and says please enter password. Full stop. Nibnura rules Nibnura rules 1 Nibnura rules 2 MFW I can only try a few thousand passwords every second. B sorcerer lord Xerxes. Getting close and closer. Order slaves to move full speed ahead and get the weapons pointed at the arch mechanicus make sure they load the shells loaded with bound demons and warp fire first. Vox the arch margos as we get in range and simply laugh at him. Betrayed siege. Head into my chambers to prepare a ritual to harness all the deaths I shall cause. Be me. Tyranids on anthrope. I hunger. Lost track of most of our minds on imperial planet. Cannot feel the ship anymore. Can barely feel the hive mind. Crossing wastes with small army. Many many gaunts. Good amount of warriors. Even have some carnifexes. Turbogun following behind. Consuming any biomass and readying more gaunts must keep them on track. Sense biomass gathering outside of city. Must be our infiltrators. Ready to join the hive mind. Advance. We must feed and grow strong. B for Linid Mercenary 9 MC Fluffy. The battle sister with the malfunctioning plasma gun demands everyone make a human pyramid so she can climb up to the hole in the ceiling. Crazy bitch. That has to be at least 6 meters up. Still, everyone tries their best to get her power armored ass up to the ceiling. We eventually compromise and settle for the vent in the side of the wall instead and she doesn't really fit in there either. It takes quite a bit of shoving to get her through the Scarlet Order's two of her smallest and skinniest mercs to follow the sister. Somehow I am one of them despite Scarlet always going on about how fat I am. To be fair this is just the standard catty bullshit one encounters in an all female for Linid formation. Scarlet in particular has never figured out how I maintain this goddess like body while living a seemingly dissolute lifestyle. The secret is lots of cardio, gymnastics. Plus a high quality boob job. Anyways, back to the task at hand. The vent opening leads into some sort of maze of air mixing chambers. So we have space to walk around. There is no airflow in the chambers. So the malfunctioning plasma gun warms up the air real quick. Good thing we got our tactical leotards on. The other felinid merc. Ready shit vodder. Complains about the heat. But the battle sister ignores her. Probably the power armor has its own built-in cooling system. We find a ladder leading up further into the air exchange mechanisms. I realize we are getting pretty close to where I was catnapped by the elder don't say anything though. Fighting a pack of elder is not going to go well. B Marcus. Commissar orders us to double time towards the wastes. We manage to gather all the lads not in tanks together. 6,000 strong infantry foot soldiers ready to fight. 3,000 on gunner duties for Valhallen tanks. As we double time we begin to see looming figures in the distance. Seems we found the nids. Shame we haven't got artillery to grind them down. 
mutter a prayer to myself as we know we are running straight into hell. But hey we are the 221st penal regiment. We are expendable and to be used on a whim. We are the condemned and unworthy. Here the commissar order us to keep the momentum of our march going and to start firing once we get over a ridge. It is better to die for the emperor than to live for yourself. BZ-23. Sitting in Yuri's banner blade. Connected to tactical sensors with Mew. Also clicking runes with both hands and one macadendrite. Working on engineer station with two more macadendrites. Multitasking augmetics eggs running at 97% capacity. This amount of multitasking may cause your systems to require premature maintenance. Are you Sue? Yes. 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 Override. Space battle has become too close to track with the moon coming apart and the orcs swarming imperial vessels. Stop paying attention to that unless there is significant change or a Vox Mikhail won't shut up about providing an honor guard for the custodes. He is going to be insufferable after this. Various tyrannid life forms on sensors. Kynafaxes. Warriors. Zolanthrope. Gaunts. Not entirely sure which are worst for tanks but probably the ones with the bio cannons try to mark synapse creatures as best I can. Condemned are making ready to charge. Quietly wonder if the commissar knows that even the most expendable of lives or equipment should be spent well. Every death that does not help destroy the enemy strengthens him. So says a thousand treatises on war. But especially with tyrannids. No real artillery to help them although we are pounding the hell out of the few things we can actually see. Plot some targeting solutions for the tanks whose cannon can elevate the highest to act as pseudo artillery. Should be able to fire over the ridge and into the middle of the swarm swarm without risking hitting the condemned. We'll only get a few volleys in before the condemned either make contact or the nids make contact with them. But maybe it will clear some of the bigger creatures. Be capped in Nortland. Laser batteries consistently firing off round after round into the orc flagship as breaching teams make their deployments into the other vessels. Grit my teeth as the baleful punishment takes some light fire. Attack craft start to vox back. That new ship is moving closer and closer to the Ark Mechanicus. It's also pointing its weapons at it. Immediately feel alarmed as now we have to worry about the orcs trying to loot the Ark Mechanicus and this new ship readying itself to open fire. Order attack craft to preform gun runs on it. Tell armsmen that haven't began descent towards the orc vessels to target the blow ship in order to breach it. Panic slightly setting in but I compose myself. I did say to the commissar that if need be I'd call for another prison vessel to come pick them up. Tell crew that our last resort will be to ram into the blue ship and detonate the drives. Most seem extremely unnerved by this but understand it's the last option available if we can't stop them with what we currently have at our disposal. As well as calling for another vessel, we will also vox around the ship to evacuate. Not me though. I'm going down with the baleful punishment as a good captain should. B Marcus. Tank fire is raining down on the bugs. Glorious and loud as hell. Commissar orders us to slow our pace down and to attach our shivs to our last guns. We do as we are ordered. Our makeshift shivs attached to our guns gleam in the wasteland sun. Eventually arrive at the ridge. Commissar orders us to open fire by firing his bolt pistol. 6,000 last guns fire in unison with the bolt pistol and begin to rip into the swarm. Even enough bolts from a last gun can deal damage to Chitin. We are mostly targeting the Gaunts and the Warriors. Fortunately for our allies, none of us have managed to rig ourselves up with explosive vests would be somewhat effective but we are still needed for the engagement at Sevastopol after this so the Commissar forbade us from making bomb vests. The first few Laskin volleys do some decent damage and that's when the Commissar orders us to keep firing and to hold our position on the ridge. Even as the Nid Swarm begins its charge. Though the pounding of cannons does help out with clearing the swarm especially the Gaunts who would have gotten to us first because they are the frontline expendables like us see the Commissar pull out a crack grenade. He hands it to a guy who got put into the regiment for terrorism. See his face light up with glee as he pulls the pin and lobs it at the swarm. He's giggling with glee the entire time. Man's got a really good arm considering where it landed. 
crack grenade detonates into the gaunt backline and hits some of the warriors but does significantly more damage to the gaunt swarm. He's laughing with glee the entire time as I continue to fire down at the swarm. Be me. Rhythm Master 112. 358, 132 Acton Death Riders of Krieg, lined up between Valhallen tanks, ahead of Attilans, see Penal Infantry Legion charging Tyranid lines, Valhallen's lobbing shells into Swarm, can't take this waiting, give order to ride out, Commissa tries to override me, Site Tactica Imperialis, Infantry engage and we have vehicular support, perfect opportunity for hammer and anvil, bad time for cowardice, draw pistol, he blanches and agrees with me, ride out to the flank, planning to swing around tyrannid line, as we get closer, see a few carnifixes approaching penal legion, covered from Valhallen guns by staying close to ridgeline, have to admit these criminals are holding their own but the carnifexes will tear through them swing around and charge along tyrannid front line, trampling gaunts, give order to ready melter tips, try to take carnifexes from behind with hunting lances, B Marcus, LAS bolts continuing to tear through the enemy, with assistance from tank shells raining down from the Valhallans we'll grind them down in no time. The big bugs however, probably not so much, at least the shells hit them occasionally, suddenly hear the sounds of hooves galloping across the wastes. Some Kriegers riding in to flank the enemy, Commissar calls out to us to keep firing bolstering our morale further, more Laskan bolts firing out with zeal as to further assist the flankers by keeping the Gaunt's attention on us and not them. One big lad in our regiment really wants to get in with his bayonet, Commissar has to glare and shout at him to stay in the ranks unless he wants to get shot his bolt pistol rings out taking the life of a Gaunt to set an example to the big guy, he gets the message and keeps firing, see the Kriegers preparing melter tips for their lances, can hear terrorist getting giddy when he notices the melter bombs, he is kept in line however as he turns his attention back to a gaunt that attempted to leap onto him, our ridge line thankfully gives us a better position against the gaunts, I then take aim at a wounded warrior and fire several bolts out into its head takes a total of 20 bolts to finally bring the thing down. Thank god these lasguns were fully charged when the plans were all sorted. These would have been dead a few hours ago had we not had them recharged continue to fire upon the gaunts. Some are getting closer to us so some have to start stabbing them over and over again with their bayonets. Commissar orders them to fire their lasguns as they shank the gaunts it's very effective. Wonder if other regiments do it when they are ordered to use their bayonets as well are well questioned for later. Got to focus on these bugs. BZ-23. See Kriegers charge off out of formation. Keep plotting firing solutions to avoid them too. Detect Meltis going off not long after they go across the Nids front line. Infantry seems to be wearing the Nids down a little but there's some kind of interference on sensors. Can't see past the front lines. No idea what's out there. Internal databank reports that some Tyranids can cause psychic interference Vox Gamma Mu 07 and ask if we can count on Skateri I support anytime soon hope they're coming. Dreadnought would be nice as well. Current analysis says it won't be long before the tanks have to get up close and personal too. Be custodian Tiberius. The package is not secure. The package is being opened by idiot guardsmen. All the rest of the Hive's forces are fighting the Tyranids and the wastes outside the city internal reeing JPG. This idiot Hydra banner blade operator doesn't understand the importance of safeguarding it the only reason I haven't executed him for gross incompetence is because we need his tanks as backup. Also because he's still technically only a Hydra operator and not actually a responsible commanding officer. I will definitely be executing the idiot who assigned this package to him we get there. There's nobody here. There's no package. Mikhail thinks they probably left to help out Commander Yuri and took it with them start to despair. Can't even lock down the hive because of the uprising. Can't even lock down the planet because of the battle in orbit. Can't even order exterminatus because we don't have control of space. My pilot also informs me that the orcs are getting their hands on Necron weaponry and are trying to take over the Ark Mechanicus. And the Tyranids are starting to break through the lines outside. Mikhail cheerfully tells me that we better go help out Commander Yuri now if the package isn't around. 
the Tyranids could break though and endanger the hive and package offers me more vodka. God Emperor save me. I will punch this damned fool's head off. I hate him even more because he's got a point. Order everyone to head to the wastes. The package will be recovered once everything is dead. I just hope it really is being ferried around by idiots and hasn't broken containment. Be newly promoted Bannerblade Commander Mikhail. Custode's very upset about package but agrees to go help Yuri. Gets angrier while talking on private Custode's Vox. Does not want vodka. Perhaps enhanced Custode's cannot get drunk off vodka. Make mental note to offer him special tanker jungle juice without the watering down later on. Also tell him Colonel Postman Farragut is one who insists I take package at gunpoint. By time we get out of city battle has started. Custodian has no problem keeping up with tanks. According to Vox Network. Infantry are over the ridge and gauge at close quarter already also rough riders are charging carnifixes in hammer to the condemned anvil. Modern problem requires classic tactical solution. Let Yuri and tech comrade Zeta know we are forming up with last of tank and comrade lord custodes on left flank. We approach battle from flank. Firing cannon into swarm as we move to line watch warriors explode. Russ is escorting me lobbing plasma and firing heavy bolters at small swarm creatures see something weird at a distance. Ask custodian what is as we move into formation with rest of Valhallans and look for package. Hey, comrade lord custodes, what is floating purple lightning brain creatures in back behind carnifex? Be dreadnought connors. Finally wake up after another nap. Check chronometer. Still M41. Still the same year in fact. It's only been an hour or two all told. The other humans are gone. Only the Mechanicus and his servo skull are left. And he's crawling all over me trying to fix things. He's partially fixed the comm system. Start getting pings from Imperial units across the local area. Everyone's gathering up top to fight some Tyranids. Don't know what they are. But sounds like foul Xenos to slaughter. Only in death does duty end. Start walking off to the elevators. The Mechanicus still on top banging on things error. Systems in need of immediate. Shut down all error messages. The Mechanicus can fix things on the way there. It'll be interesting to see these Tyranids I wonder what they look like. Maybe they're those puny Xenos I've been fighting down here. I'll be finding out soon enough. Biscuitary I Marshal Gamma Mu 07. Managed to stabilize the dreadnought but he'll still need an actual tech priest to repair him. The parts I gave him were only meant for Skateri and will only last a few minutes under the pressure. About to try and drag him to the surface but the lift is in use a banner blade and a bunch of lemon russes come down agitating the surviving cultists. They hold them off before deciding to retreat. The dreadnought wakes up wants to follow them. I try to tell him he still needs repairs from an actual tech priest but he doesn't listen. Tell my surviving Skateri to follow him as we finally get out of the under. Be Trooper Sasha. Valhalla Nice Warriors. Yet again find myself fighting mids. As if we didn't get enough of those back on Damnatum Lutum. Luckily these ones are even dumber and more lemming like than the ones we fought before hyper evolved apex predators my ass. Even orcs are smarter than the bugs. Our tank and cavalry groups are out there somewhere taking the fight to the enemy. But some small groups are sneaking by and assaulting our hastily formed lines in front of the city so far it is mostly the occasional Hormagorn. Useless little things. They are fast enough. But they always run in a straight line and it only takes one solid shot to take them down even with these shitty semi-automatic mid-power setting only lascans they gave us. Note to self, get a lascabine. Or maybe even a triple X lascan the next chance I get also. Get some tanner. It is going to be a long day. BZ to 23. Now sharing tactical data with Mikhail, a custodian, and Gamma Mu 07 and the Dreadnought. Glad to see more reinforcements are on the way. Wonder if Dreadnought needs assistance. Mikhail has been saying the custodian is looking for the package I don't have the location. It was Mikhail's problem. It's probably in the back somewhere behind the tanks from the crater. Trying to modify sensors to see through psychic tyrannic interference so Yuri can call a priority target. Still can't properly detect synapse creatures. 
No news from Space Battles recently. No word from Rescue Team either. Continuing to commune with Bannerblade through all of this. Beast IG is the 8th Kateri I Cerberus Raider Alpha. Recovered from injuries and riding again. Fighting bugs in the wasteland outside the hives. Watch Knights handling the larger life forms. Hear a battle cry. Turn and see Death Riders charging a Carnifex. Turn squad of raiders to support our fellow riders from a distance with our galvanic carbine. Yeehaw new sphere. Be Captain Crunch the 8th. Bah. Numbers are stupid. We've landed on the Humi moon that's actually a Necron moon. The boys are looting everything they can. Domac boys are informing me that there's more below except we can't get to it the necrons are already at the elevator. So we can't go through there either what do you men you can't get to it. We're surrounded by Dartini's Daka. Yeah. Use your head. Crump some mech boys and tell the rest to start shooting through the floor with the robust Daka. Call the ship to start shooting through the floor too. They says the fight is also going well. There's a blue ship helping them fight the Humi ship good. Once we get the Humi's Daka and the Necron's Daka we can leave. Been a good fight this. Should thank the Humis later too. Be custodian Tiberius. Arrive at the battlefield with Hydra banner blade operator Mikhail. Assembled might of the hive is here. Skaterii. Valhalla. Tanks. Even a penal battalion. A desperate force of ragtags all told. Also could have sworn I saw a dreadnought walking about but the stress must be getting to me. The battle is in full swing. The Imperial force is barely hanging on. I suppose they expect the Custodes to simply win the battle through his sheer presence I may be one of the greatest warriors in the galaxy. And probably the oldest being on this planet. But even I cannot turn the tide by myself. I may be a justifiably arrogant prick but even I can be humbled by the forces that besiege the Imperium. Mikhail starts tugging my elbow. Like the small child that humans are. He points to a line of zoanthropes in the rear and asks what they are. Bad news. Very bad news. Guess I have a job to do. Order Mikhail to clear me a path with his tanks. I will take care of the foul Xenosickers for the Emperor. Be newly promoted Bannerblade Command Mikhail. Comrade Lord Custodes tells me to clear path to bad news lightning brain tyrannid for the Emperor. Tell Yuri we see target of opportunity. Moving forward. Charge into swarm leading wedge formation. Room for Comrade Lord Custodes behind Bannerblade. For us supporting this time. Even over Aurora Bannerblade can hear Punisher's guns. Make it past Regaline. Moving on left flank of Condemned. They are holding surprising well for infantry against mids. See crazy death rider boys on other flanks stabbing carnifexes in rear with exploding lance whilst Kateriai horsemen's move into support. Seems to be working out okay for them. In front of Bannerblade though is another few carnifexes. Russ is firing at them pushes them back. Fire Bannerblade cannon at Carnifex head. Glorious Gore covers the battlefield. Get on Vox. Stay close comrade Lord Custodes. We are pushing through them. Is not long before we have cleared a narrow path for comrade Lord Custodes. All other Carnifexes are engaged on opposite flank. Only minor creatures here. Hard to make it any wider though. Harder to get closer without being cut off. Maintain fire. Keep blasting minor forms back. Is now or never Lord Comrade Custodes we keep them off your back. B Marcus. I am but one of the 6000 condemned souls within the 221st penal regiment. Nothing more than scum in the eyes of the Imperium. Will probably never get a pardon in my lifetime. None of us will. But that won't stop us from purging this lot of scum. Commissar bellows out in order to advance and shoot seeing as more reinforcements are coming in. His bolt pistol fires out ordering us to charge and shoot. Get the frag off the Imperium's fragging planet Xeno scum. Never thought I'd bellow that out loud. Other penal legionnaires join in with the sentiment as we charge into the Gaunt line. Firing our last guns at the same time. Shivs rip and slash into the forms as LAS bolts singe them. Big lad is having the time of his life. Spot him head butting a gaunt to the ground. He then curb stomps the gaunt whilst men push past him. Even with our zealous fury and weaponry at full use. Some did go down but not without taking their colors down with them. 
infantry force shrinks down to 5,500. Commissar yells the order to keep going. The sights of our allies pushing forward and the emergence of glistening golden warrior spurs me to keep moving. Even as a gaunt slashes at my leg, beat it down and fire LAS bolt after LAS bolt into its head before moving on. Gaunt line reduced drastically. After this we'll be fighting the Nid warriors. Bring it on Xeno scum. You ain't got nothing on the might of the Imperium. Be me. Rid the master 112. 358. 132 up to death riders of Krieg. First Carnifex goes down to repeated melt lancing. SWAT leaping gaunt away from face with detonated lance. C tanks advance on other flank. Is that a custodes? Keep fighting. Next two Carnifex is about to close with us when they start taking fire from Mechanicus cavalry. Charge them as well. Trying to dodge claws and going for legs. Some of us go down but some still have undetonated lances. Carnifexes lose speed and gain new orifices from first charge. Mechanicus pouring fire into them. We're losing people but it won't be long before the Confexes go down. Circle around Carnifexes, taking advantage of their leg wounds. Trampling gaunts and fending off warriors. Pulling them away from penal infantry by chance more than judgment. Ready to charge Carnifexes one more time. If we down the last few we can join penal infantry and ready secondary lances while shooting down gaunts. Be me, Sergeant Yuri. Still can't believe I'm in a real banner blade. This has been my dream since I was just a loader. Hop on fancy Vox system. Zeta 23 is driving and seems to be doing an amazing job even though it's just him. Decide to leave him be. Get on fancy Vox system. Get message from someone who sounds very angry wondering about some kind of box. Tell him I have no idea what he is talking about as Mikhail was handling all that mess while I was blackout drunk and he should ask him. Change channel and find out Sasha is here. Say hi. Ask how she's doing and if she needs anything. Hear scratching noises outside. Wonder what that is so I get up and try to find a hatch to stick my head out. Instead I find a bar. This banner blade has a fracking bar best tank ever needs a name though. Bartender is dressed weirdly though. And I could have sworn I've seen him somewhere before. Be for Linnet Mer Captain Scarlet. Princess seems fine if a bit understandably traumatized. I leave her with the Inquisitor agent and two of my mercs to guard them. Plus our medic to check up on her. Vox Tiff to prepare for an evac. Then take the rest of my squad down the hallways to look for the knife ears and find out what they're doing here. BZ to 23. Boosting comms. Plotting firing solutions. Driving tank. Yuri starts to climb out of the tank. Yelling about a bar. What Vox? Tell anyone acting as pseudo-artillery to use their best judgement and avoid hitting our allies have everybody marked on tax screens including custodes and people are receiving data from Mikhail's banner blade. It should be fine. At least 62% chance it'll be fine. Nervous about moving away from sensors though. Litany of logical thought trimping over emotion vox. Litany isn't really working. Full stop in turret down position well before ridge. We should be in cover clamber up after Yuri to see what the fuck he's doing. Be Sergeant Yuri. Recognize the bartender as the fucker who minraped me on the desert planet have to get away. Run down hallway. Find emergency hatch. Leave and climb out onto a tank. We're in a war zone surrounded by mids. Banner blade stops. Zeta 23 comes out and asks what I'm doing. Tell him the bartender is the sicker who gave me those weird visions and we need to find a way to kill him before it's too late. Zeta 23 looks at me like I'm insane. How could he think that? He was there B Zeta 23. Yuri is having visions of Ordo Kronos Inquisitor. Inquisitor might actually have been there for all I know. Not sure what to do about this. Try to act calm. But this is scaring me too. Tell him I believe Yuri saw him. Because that incident made unauthorized changes to my memory. I only managed to keep going normally because of data bank implants. I still don't even know how I got Margot's clearance back. I think he did some inquisition bullshit in the past future. Or the future past. 
I don't know, but he told me not to come to this planet. That's the only thing I fully remember about him without accessing databanks. So we should get back in the tank before whatever it is happens to us. And because there's Tyranids to kill, right, we'll get through this, together. Offer Yuri Manly Warriors handshake I have noticed guardsmen using. Arm um, may be an augmetic but it's a real feel Mars diplomat variant pattern I got specifically for handshakes and such. Should be reassuring. I hope. B Sergeant Yuri. Zeta 23 assures me everything will be okay and that B believes me. Also says something bad is going to happen but doesn't know what. Offers me his hand and I take it. Pick related. Look up. Hey. Zeta. Does part of the moon look closer? B Zeta 23. Yuri takes my hand. Seems to be recovering. Asks if part of the moon looks closer. It does. Preliminary analysis shows. It's falling. Not fast but. We need to finish up with these mids. And get started on finding evac. Start climbing into tank. Awaiting Yuri's orders reviewing event history. Don't think the Imperial post vessel could have left and the custodes must have a ship nearby for one to be here. Arc Mechanicus is currently engaged, as is the baleful punishment but they should make it I hope be plasma gun. Riz pattern. Designation hot dog. Hunting down Elder with master and two for linnets. Finally get out of the vents and into some room. Can hear Elder footsteps in the distance, which aren't very easy to hear in the first place fortunately. Master doesn't have to listen. As there's a small trail of sweat due to me heating up the vents. Hot stuff venting. Master and I begin to follow the Xenos trail. Not bothering to wait for the full inis. We're picking up some pretty good speed thanks to Master's power armor. After a few twists and turns. Suddenly feel Master pulling my trigger. Do not hesitate and launch a bolt of plasma as Master demands. Hear a cry of pain accompanied by the vaporization of flesh. Accursed things don't stop running. However, these slippery creatures won't escape us. Hopefully the other Folinids can cut them off or something. Blood for the master rage. Be Dreadnought Connors. We've arrived at the battle. Right in the thick of it. The Mechanicus fellow is still banging and wearing things on my back. Can even hear him slightly through the sarcophagus. Do I even have ears anymore? Get constant notifications of errors but ignore them. Start wearing up the assault cannon. Not sure how much ammo I have left due to the error notifications, but I think I have some left get to see these Tyranids at last. They look like bigger ones of the Xenos I fought beneath the city. Intriguing. I wonder how the Imperium allowed those to get there. The lines are charging each other, like something out of the horse heresy it brings a tear to my eye. If I had eyes left to cry from. In any case, time to purge the foul Xenos scum. The rotary cannon starts blasting these Tyranids as I slowly walk forward to support the group of humans I saw below the city. I hope the Mechanicus is still hanging on. Would be a shame if he fell off. Be overlord Nebneru the good mind haver. I have been entering in passwords for the last hour. Nebneru Iskel and Sexi and Verismit 131. Nebneru Iskel and Sexi and Verismit 132. Nebneru Iskel and Sexi and Verismit 133. Suddenly hear machinery wearing to life. First remaster off machines. Check in with my perimeter guard. Apparently, with the exception of a few small and unfortunate raiding parties, no major orc groups showed up to our position, meaning most of my forces are still intact. They must have recognized my superiority get report from other forces that orcs are stealing our smaller weapons from other outposts. It won't matter once I get to the super weapons I keep in the vault which I definitely know exist. Leave all of my heavy destroyers and a good amount of warriors to guard the entrance. I take the rest of my warriors, immortals, and death marks on the elevator and descend into the vault. After a few minutes we reach the first hallway. It seems the first part is just my vast collection of artwork depicting my greatest moments which I absolutely remember. After a few hours of marching however we start to hear a noise coming from above us. Explosions. Suddenly we hear our noises. The first was the sound of the tunnel roof ahead of us exploding, causing debris to hit the floor. The much louder noise was the roar of orcs descending through the hole order my forces to open fire. B-Borex 
famed dwarf ranger and wanderer, seen all sorts of things and have traveled all over the land, from the jungles of Lustria to the Grand Arabian bazaars, been there seen that get called up north to help the northern mountain holds, travel up the world's edge mountains at great personal expense, cannot leave kinsmen to the evils of demons and crazed northmen, get to the border of troll country, the road becomes a dirt path thick with woodland, the sun barely peeks through the thicket, praise ancestors I can see through this darkness, suddenly a bright flash of blue flame envelopes the road, and a bird devil crawls out I am the great and evil Akakathiru or Ak tremble in fear, puny dwarf for the realm of chaos is beyond your comprehension behold a world beyond your own, epileptic flashes envelope my eyes, see some manling in some very goofy looking Kislevite garb, he's accompanied by a myriad of various manlings, all covered in dark cogs and pipes manling gum gak tapestry, now do you see that you mortals are doomed to be puppets in the great schemes of the master, wait, what are you screw up kick the bird was up in the donglies, repeatedly, have a bit of cheese from my rations, munch on it as I continue on my quest, be naval breacher Jermak Stockerson, making desperate attack on unknown hostile vessel, we breach close to the Engenarium, chaos rooms everywhere, avert my eyes, thumb my palm, and recite a prayer, follow my shield man onwards. We need to get into the Engenarium and damage or destroy a power source replacement demo trooper ticker putting small charges on circuit panels as we pass man has so many explosives I'm worried a stray round might send us to the Emperor but at least it would damage the ship. The Engenarium is well defended, but there's breaches all around and some are punching holes in walls to fire through. Copy them. Melt of whoosh. We just need one team to get through and do enough damage. Be Arch Margo's Explorator Prime. Notice half the orcs are peeling away towards one half of the moon they were pushing. What does not compute? Scan the moon. Heliomnishi as Enerite. Detect a massive amount of Necron energy. Redirect half the Skaterii boarding parties to instead make their way towards the half of the moon with the Necron energy signals. Also notice the other half of the moon is about to crash into Thars 8. Send a message down to my marshal and the knights to let them know. Be me. Princeps Maximus of the Warlordtician Burning Sun. Fighting bugs on some backwater hive world. All I've really done is stomp around mostly. Secretary Iron and Cerberus core mop up the gaunts I miss. Nothing big for me to fight. Just then two banner blades and a couple dozen tanks and a bunch of guardsmen leave the city. Guess things are worse than I thought. Might need to actually start paying attention to this battle. My Cerberus leave me to support the other cavalry infantry. Hear a roar. Biotician on the horizon spotted. Grin inside my tank and reeve up Gatling laser. Get a message from the Margos that half the moon is coming down. Better make this quick then. Be Marcus. Fighting is getting intense as we thin down the gaunt ranks. Then the riders start trampling over more of the gaunts. Our advance slows slightly as the riders ready themselves to charge the big bugs again warriors seem distracted temporarily. That changes once Biggie ends up shanking one in the face with his bayonet and starts unloading round after round into its head. Commissar ordering us to keep up the advance. Thanks to the riders the casualties we would have faced from the warriors is minimized another 500 men go down to the warriors, slashed to pieces by their swords. Bagi is unfortunately one of the 500. After killing one warrior he fought another one. It brutalized his body damn right taking his torso from his legs. But that didn't stop Biggie from cracking its neck with his bare hands. Rest in peace Biggie. I turn my attention back to the fight barely avoiding a slash from a warrior. Cuts right through my flak armor and penal jumpsuit. Large slash across my stomach. Thankfully not deep enough to where I really have to worry. Despite it being low quality. The flak armor did save me. Stab the warrior in the neck and fire out several LAS bolts until it goes down spot the commissar getting stuck into the melee. His chainsword hacking and chopping the warrior he fights. Finishes it off with a round from his bolt pistol and moves on. All the while telling us to keep at it. My pace slows significantly but I'm not going down yet. I'm still needed after this engagement. I'm not forgiven yet. I scream out for the Emperor. Continue to support by firing my last gun at the warriors. 
Can't get into a melee fight against one again in my state. Hope to the emperor I don't pass out from blood loss. I'd be trampled to death by my fellow prisoners if that happens. Be nurse. Have no idea whose bright idea it was to board a Chaos Estarts vessel. But whosoever it was. Fuck you. Bad enough dealing with injuries that make logical sense. Now whenever someone gets burned I need to answer a series of riddles or cut off several tentacles just to get to the actual wound. We brought Ticker along this time despite me saying repeatedly he should be in a psych ward not on missions. Hate to think what these non-Euclidean corridors are doing to his PTSD. Of course Jermak rushes in thinking he's invincible with his melter. Just hope we don't need to drag him back to the ship again. Be me. Rhythm Master 112-358-132 Apt and Death Riders of Krieg. Fending off grunts and warriors while we reform so the men with prepared melter tips are in the front. Right down the remaining frontline carnifixes with help of tanks and skaterii cavalry we take casualties but they go down. Join the condemned and add our firepower to theirs. Half our riders prepare their secondary lances for any targets of opportunity while the other half supports penal infantry at the front. Then we swap ready to charge again. Waiting for target of opportunity. Managing to keep the Tyranids back but we can't hold forever. Try to keep a corridor for Skaterii cavalry where we rode but they tend to have different tactics thankfully a titan is engaging the Tyranids now. But they have something to match. We're entering the end game. B naval breacher Jermak Stockerson. Nurse is mad again. I can't help it if there's hostiles and I have a melter. Defense is too heavy. We're inflicting casualties but not enough. Shooting through the walls is telling on the hostiles but we're only doing so much damage to the infrastructure. Order ticker to start launching and throwing charges through the melted hole and vox other squads to do the same. If we can do enough damage from out here we won't need to break through entirely but we will need to run. Be Captain Nortland. Get reports from breaching teams that the vessel firing upon the Ark Mechanicus is a Chaos Astartes vessel. Immediately order a Vox towards the Ark Mechanicus to brace for whatever the hell the Chaos ship is going to do. Also note half of the moon is falling towards the planet. Final solution plan ruled out. A secondary penal ship won't make it in time order breaching teams to continue operations. Order the baleful punishments to start getting closer towards the chaos vessel fire all weapons into the command center of the vessel to try and cripple it some more order gun runs from attack craft to target the weapon batteries to cripple the vessel's firepower. My grip on my power sword tightens up as I order another vox to be sent down to the ground forces. Vox that a chaos starts vessel is in the air with a and targeting the Ark Mechanicus. I also add that breaching teams from the Baleful Punishment have made their way on board and that the ship itself is working on taking down the enemy vessel. Also say the Nid fleet has been destroyed and the Orcs are distracted by something on the other half of the moon that isn't falling towards the planet. The Baleful Punishment continues to rain down laser fire upon the enemy vessel. Seems the Baleful Punishment will have quite a few stories about it to be told to new recruits for the Penal Legion and Armsmen. B Marcus. The 221st is continuing its grinding assault. The Gaunts have been cleared out by two thirds from my best guess. They are falling faster and faster as we deal with the warriors. See the riders kill the last of the frontline big bugs. They then join our assault. Horses weaving through our ranks of infantry. Hey it helps significantly as I'm taking pot shots with my gun. The commissar is yelling at us to keep going and to wipe them out. Casualties for us have slowed to a crawl thanks to the assistance of the riders feel myself slowing down further thanks to my wound. Order myself to keep moving. Never stop. Always marching. Fire a few LAS bolts into a warrior which then gets impaled by a rider. Chuckle slightly to myself as I keep moving pain kicking in more and more but I can't stop now soon I see a giant fucking bug my eyes widen at the sight of it. But my legs keep moving then one of the god engines begins opening fire upon it glorious to behold. 
almost causes me to stop moving but the commissar's yells keep me going as his pistol blows a warrior to pieces keep walking and firing eventually we see the warrior ranks beginning to deplete thank the emperor for giving me the strength to keep on going with this mission even as the pain from my wound causes me to stop briefly to let out a yell of pain must endure it I am criminal scum after all. I deserve this punishment BZ to 23. Yuri seems mostly okay to continue. Sense of showing death riders formed up with condemned. Titan approaching moon still falling. We have hours at best. Tyranid bio titan coming out of psychic interference. Shit Vox. It's heading straight for the friendly titan. Driving on Yuri's orders. Our tanks are finishing off as many nids as possible sharing firing solution to drop shells into zoanthropes on other side of them from custodes if we take their sickers and the titan takes down their bio titan. We should be home free we still need evac though. Idea. Vox imperial post vessel at the mechanicus requests the safe delivery of several regiments of imperial guard and a custodes as soon as nids are finished. I'm sure that between the baleful, the explorator, and the imperial post they'll be able to hold us all. At least until we get to a world where the moon isn't falling, and the mention of a custodes will light a fire under their meatbag asses. Be recently promoted banner blade commander Mick Hale. Lord Comrade Custodes is dealing with floating lightning brain nids provide covering fire, keeping smaller forms off him, see massive tyrannid stomp past, moving to fight imperial titan blood distracted from nids for moment but gunners keeping fire up, push forward slightly, trying to envelop tyrannid frontline. Krieg death riders are in line with condemned infantry boys now. If I can envelop line on left and Yuri keeps it up on other side Tyranids should start to collapse except for monster titan boy but that is problem for our own titan. Push banner blade forward. Order 3 of Russ to follow in wake and face right to mow down Tyranid lines. Other Russ is watching my back and theirs. Tyranid line starts to falter like trainee on first patrol encountering orc they do not collapse completely. Think the bio titan or floating lightning brain nid is keeping them going but we have advantage on guns now. B naval breacher Jermak Stockerson. All teams throwing and launching charges into Engenarium while shooting in to stop them being thrown out. Explosions on explosions. Barely duck shrapnel. Hope that cuts the power or at least drops it a little. Tell everyone to run for the Salakians like Horus is behind them. Armsmen try to cut us off but Ticker still has grenades and a melter takes care of the last one make it back onto the Salakian and depart. Three breaches in as many hours. That has to be some kind of record. Run out of adrenaline and realize I didn't duck all of that shrapnel. Best part of some kind of panel is stuck in my shoulder. Some of it is in my chest armor but I don't think it penetrated. Nurse is going to fucking kill me probably. Call her over anyway. Be sorcerer lord Xerxes. Dipshits trying to smash my ship. Cast a spell before ritual begins to activate rubrics and another to command some beasts to defend my power source. Finally send psychic command to cult and beastman leaders to use the long ways for ambush. Hellrakes and possessed aircraft's duel with naval forces as the first warp crafted shells fire at Mechanicus ship. Begin my ritual by sacrificing slowly the triplet sons of a saint while utilizing a true name given to me by father. Fur up is good chaos. Sorcerer cultists begin chanting alongside me as their eyes melt and the barrier between real space slowly crumbles. Even my own eyes sting and bleed some but I continue on as some souls planets I get used as they are drawn up. Soon doom comes for the be custodian Tiberius. In the middle of the zoanthropes. Ducking and weaving and carving my way through them because of course they leave the most difficult job to the custode still. Have managed to slaughter a fair few of them without a scratch. Only damage is my robe getting scratched. Only a little while more and I'll be done. Though I'm sure they'll ask me to fight the bio titan or a second army all by myself. I hope that wasting all this time here is worth it. The package has been gone for a while now get a vox from the pilot. He informs me the moon is going to impact the planet soon what jpg. What in the emperor's name has been going on up there? These idiots are probably going to start asking me to carry everyone to safety. Or maybe give them some room on my ship. And I still need to find the package. My existence is to serve.
it is the emperor's will that the humans must be saved even if they are puny fools that mess up all our plans. At least they are not a start. Be Captain Crunch. Wes looted loads of Daka already. Necron Daka is the best. Also the ship tells me they're nearly done cutting through on the Humi's big gun the boys have dug through to the under levels of the Necron place. Jumping through the hole while yelling wirarag finally reach the bottom. The Necron guy is a little behind us. Ha ha ha. Beat into it. He and his tinnies start firing at us. Don't bother shooting back. Wes got Daka to loot. Run through the halls. Mostly boring things like pictures. Only a couple bits of Daka like the stuff upstairs. Where's this jit keeping the good stuff? BZ to 23. Psychic interference starts to clear up. Custodes is slaughtering Zoanthropes. Tyranids are losing coherence. Except for the Bio Titan. Zoanthropes too close to target without hitting the Custodes. Replot firing solutions for everyone except Mikhail's platoon. They are fully engaged need to slow down Bio Titan for our Titan. Dreadnought seems to be moving to alongside Condemned. Skateri is still clinging to him as he obliterates Tyranids. Vox Dreadnought. Advise him to follow my marker when the Tyranids are done so I can keep him active and ensure he gets transport. Space battle is apparently getting warpy. Naval breaches retreating from hostile ship can't tell if it's been significantly damaged. Warning. Multitasking eggs is a drop attention from space battle again. Augmetics are not enjoying this as soon as the bio titan is gone we basically have a clear LZ but for the Zoanthropes be me. Be slow. Cal the Sky Ripper. It's been 4 days since that coup worked. Killed that bastard Violsal the Harvester. Roll in deep with 300 ish Night Lords. Last coup killed 693 mortals due to sabotage of a torpedo and the loading bay fucking kill em curse. Kahem as the seeing said there is an agree world nearby in the system. We lie in wait near the asteroid field nearby and start trying to tap in their new sphere guard regiment is on the world. Can't make out other forces. Mechanicus unknown mostly humans. Easy pickings. 